and good morning. We're here with our level 18 one shot, but prior to that, we got to get into some good stuff. So I'm going to shoot it over to Syrup. Oh, hi. That's me. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is so exciting. I'm excited to see some familiar faces in chat already. I'm excited to be here. Um, and it's early it's early so i hope everybody has at least on the east coast so i hope everyone has their their pjs their their big bowls of cereal and are ready for some some epic action um we wanted to say some quick thank yous um so you guys know what you're seeing on screen um all our vtt of choice right now is roll 20 um so that's what we're going to be playing on and all these lovely tokens and what you'll see filtering through on the side was all hero forge so obviously a huge shout out to hero forge for that as well um okay so that's not the only people we have to thank. We have to thank some special guests. And aside from, you know, our, our crew, we got Varso, we got Carrick. Hey guys. Um, we have the very, very special and wonderful head bard in charge herself, Anne. You wanna say hi? It's me. I'm so, so happy to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, this is only my s -s 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 second time playing Pathfinder second edition. So be very gentle. I have many diligent notes, but <laughs> there could there could be moments of wild confusion. <laughs> Not gonna what was lie. Your first time my you level 18? Uh, yeah, there will level be 18. No gentleness. Yeah. No, 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 no. Was your first time level 18, or are you just jumping oh, in the no. deep end now? I'm jumping in the deep end now. Uh, my first time playing was level five, so I never started it. I've never <laughs> experienced a level one Pathfinder character, and it was during uh, the Jasper's game game week uh, streams on our channel. We had somebody who couldn't come at the last minute, and I had to jump in. And I was like, I don't know. Throw me a bard, and I'll figure it out. And I was like, Wait, <laughs> this is actually amazing. So um, as someone who's played a lot of Starfinder and and gone kind of the through the back door to the Paizo verse, I guess. Uh, I'm I've been super excited to read more uh, and experience more and now play more Pathfinder Second Edition. Heck yes! Um, honestly, like kudos, round of applause to being willing to jump into a level 18 character, which is insane. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I heard the only wild. way you can. I heard the only way you can die at Pathfinder's level one, so you should be fine. Yeah, I yeah, we're basically man. gods, is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I no, uh, but it feels that way when you're building a level eighteen character and that's your first experience. You're like, I can roll ten d ten. This is wild. <laughs> um, but and yeah, then you I'm, level I'm, up and up oh, and up and up, and those dice get wild. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's but crazy. so can the Tarask. So yeah, yeah, it's fine. We're, we it's just, fine. We're gonna we're live. Gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> if we believe, then we will uh, maybe live. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, plan, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so Care kind of first mentioned it. Um, we got some Tarask action. Um, we have some Tree Razor action. And I only know that because those were the two images that I was tasked to use for our promo so we are called the alpha versus the omega that is the show and i'm assuming those two are the alpha and the omega we're gonna find out what's gonna happen in just a little bit um but really briefly do you guys see this little decal that i added on the screen without waffles is Don't knowing in like the top left corner like right Ooh, over his face i think it says i can't read actually <laughs> I think it says happy birthday because Waffles, oh, your man. birthday is today. So happy freaking birthday. Um, we hope this stream is, is a joy uh, and a good start to your birthday. We got some escape the room planned for later today and other fun stuff. But I think <laughs> this is an epic way to uh, kick off your birthday. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I get all I want for my birthday is to kill one of you. So. Wait. <laughs> oh, no lie. There's there's one person here you want to kill. Not one of Don't us. Don't flatter yourself, Keg. Don't flatter That's yourself. True. Wow. <laughs> no. Waffles has killed your characters enough. I think he's satisfied. <laughs> Honestly, I'm he like, yeah, flatter yourself. Go call that attention. Call the <laughs> I am star on to you. Something I do it every session. 
every he second. tries he certainly tries. what i have to say what i'm excited about though is i've never played i've i thought about it when we were coming into this today and i've never played a cre a high level creature that wasn't intelligent there's very, mm -hmm. there's very few of them in my opinion like i played <laughs> dragons i've played like high level casters as bbegs but the Durask is a minus three intelligence, then I'm, oh, wow. I'm excited about it. <laughs> this oh, is going to go great, yeah, y'all. Okay. I thought this was going to be hard. <laughs> um, all right. Cool. I mean, I think that's my thank yous. I think that's my call outs. If there's anything else, I'll be like, oh, oh, well, actually, there is one thing. See, I already did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's just to say who we are, because um, we, we introduced Anne and I mentioned some of our players, but really, really briefly, we are Waffles Maple Syrup. That's Waffles um, Syrup. Um, and these are some of our lovely players. Um, we, we call our, our sous chefs. Um, but but <laughs> um, if we, Anne mentioned Starfinder, that is our current main homebrew campaign, um, which you can find on our channel on Waffles twitch.tv slash waffles maple syrup um so if you're interested in checking out some starfinder outside of that we're live on tuesdays at seven uh nope eight eight p.m eastern we shifted time zones uh but that's not what we're doing right now right now we're here in gen con and we're on paizo's channel so waffles take it away all right let's get started as we enter into this world known as galarian in a different time than most are used to. We see very little through the vast amount of smoke rising from various cities of the mainland. Cracks ride through the land with shining red lava spilling out of them, only to eventually spill over, dry, and solidify. The world, for all intents and purposes, looks to be falling apart. We then cut to another area, black all around, Stars everywhere from the ceiling to floor. Almost as if in the middle of the universe itself, we see a few tables set out, drinks on the tables, and four entities sitting around. We see an elk-headed humanoid with a bow on his back leaning against the table. We see an impossibly beautiful humanoid in bright full plate armor with a shield and sword. We see a bronze-skinned humanoid with a, mug in each, with a mug in each of his hands. And we see a bronze-skinned angelic beauty with flaming hair flowing around her body. As we zoom into them, we hear murmurs between each of them as the humanoid in the plate mail looks down into the dark floor, seems to be staring at something, and looks up to the rest. And they all nod in unison. Together, they bring a hand up slowly and snap. And immediately in four more chairs on the other side of the table are four humanoid entities. What does one of them look like, Syrup? Ah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, as you were describing the first four, I was like, that's not us. That's not us. <laughs> I was waiting for, was like, like, a Tarrasque foot to smush the whole place and kill them. <laughs> and then, psych out, get, get squad B up here, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> all right, B team. Um, all right, so in one of the chairs, um, kind of like sitting down with them, like a, a uncomfortable oomph, uh, because they're n not expecting that, um, is Creo. Uh, Creo is a Strix, um, but there seems to be something a little bit more. They have these like glowing um, electric lines, almost like tattooed across them that, that kind of crackle uh, every once in a while. So you can tell perhaps there's a little bit more than just a Strix there. Um, maybe even some Sylph. Um, so Creo has, um, you know, these long, almost drooping ears and ridiculous, ridiculously large uh, blue to black wings, um, kind of like my beautiful blue jay behind me. <laughs> um, and as they like bamf into that chair, their wings get all like askew and, and they shuffle them in uh, looking around. Where? Who? Who, ha, who is? No, who? Am, where am I? 
you see the elk-headed humanoid kind of turn his head to all of you. You are here to eventually go to the material plane. You don't need to know where you are now. And as that sentence kind of finishes, uh, who else do we see? Varsa. Um, you see uh, the good fellow Grout Dirt Club, this knoll who's built like a tank uh, with kind of this like uh, lighter brown fur with like streaks of black in it and black and like brown leathers just kind of covering his body uh, going over some of this like uh, half plate and stretching out in a long leather cape he has a very straightforward aesthetic and also spiky dyed blonde hair and um, <laughs> little beard underneath also dyed blonde and as he kind of like spawns into this chair he's like bent back like one arm crossed over the other and like a flaming katana in the other hand crossed over like very clearly in the middle of like a wrestling move or something and as as he shows up he just like stops for a moment and kind of moves out of this position and screams why am I here I was winning (laughs) (laughs) the Having already answered the first person, uh, this, or the first person having been already answered, uh, the elk-headed humanoid looks at you, then looks over to the next person as, what does he see, Kerr? Oh no, I thought it was him next. (laughs) Um, for a minute, it looks like one of the chairs is empty before, like, tiny little hummingbird, uh, sounding wings just suddenly hum as a a small figure and I say small, I mean tiny figure uh, rises like to the tabletop level and goes "Uh, I think I have been shunted somewhere didn't ask for this very rude, but hello Uh, and kind of hovering in place is a tiny little sprite figure dressed in greens and autumn oranges Uh, with bright teal and red wings uh, that kind of clash, but they're fairly pretty and functional. Are their wings like (coughs) Anne's hair? Uh, They are kind of, not pink, but yeah, same same kind of teal, same kind of vibe. (laughs) Uh, And then, then kind of he has flaming red hair that is pointed upwards, in like a in like a spiky fashion, but it's there's no product. It just kind of like you know when you get like that balloon hair where somebody rubs a balloon on your head and then like does that. That's how his hair is stood up. It's just <laughs> kind of floating upwards into a point. It's very weird and like probably his own doing. It's like a troll doll, yeah. <laughs> except except like weirder, yeah. Like like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, drag. He is. <laughs> he's powered up. He's ready to go. Oh my goodness, it's Goku. <laughs> <laughs> the tiniest right. of Goku's. Got the tiniest one here. And then Miss Anne, what do we see in the last chair? So um, in the last chair, you see a little gripply frog lady. Um, she was clearly in the throes of something before coming here because she's got a little ukulele in her hands. Uh, and she's just in the middle of seeing why are there so many dogs about rainbows? What's on the, oh my God, who are you? Uh, and she looks around and takes in her new surroundings. She seems to be uh, kind of dripping wet from her little bulb-like fingers and her uh, robes around her ankles uh, are kind of wet as if she was standing in some, in like a, a pool of water before she was uh, unwittingly transported here. And uh, what you see as far as her appearance is that she's this teal, like bright blue green frog. And in the places where you see shadow, you see kind of these um, opalescent but bioluminescent markings across like the ridge of her uh, head uh, and back on on the back of her skull kind of wrapping around are these two uh, butterfly wings that kind of wrap around the back of her head um, with the little, I don't know what they're called, but the the like the whittle the whittle wing parts that like come around the back <laughs> of her neck and kind of come to this the sides here. Uh, and she is dressed in 
priestly vestments of Desna in purples and whites with like accents of of gold and blue. And she's right. small. She is a frog, Ooh. just to be clear. If we're unclear <laughs> about Gripply, she, she a little frog lady. <laughs> okay. I'm still the smallest. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're still tiny. the smallest. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, the Lark looks over at the wings on the back of you and goes, "Those aren't real, right? Like you didn't steal them from anybody, right?" Me. me. No, to uh, to uh, Ripple or yeah. I I think Kurio mm. just starts answering anyways. These are mm -hmm. real. I don't have wings. <laughs> <laughs> she um. Oh god. She kind of like her big bulbous like yellow eyes kind of twitch over to you and her manic state kind of fades and she says, oh, but I I didn't steal this. I was born this way. I've just always been a part of me. It's not they're not fairy wigs, they're butterfly wigs. Okay, kid. Some of us have butterfly wings. I was checking. <laughs> okay. Your wigs are pretty cool, though, I have to admit. I love yours. Yeah, They're Gabe amazing. recognizes Gabe, honestly. I, yeah. I shift and, like, flutter mine out a little bit. <clears throat> yours are cool, too, even if they do have feathers, which is, honestly... Um, kind of... Yeah. What's, They're okay. Yeah. What do, you, what do you have against feathers? I don't know. I guess that was a pretty silly thing to get up, up in, in arms about. <laughs> They're good. They're good wings. <laughs> okay. 10 out of 10 wingspan. Cool. So yeah. everyone here has cool wings, except for you. What's your name? <laughs> are, you, are you speaking to Grout? Yeah. <laughs> yes. The only wingless one. <laughs> he, he, he's not listening. He doesn't like he register you're talking to him until like he sees you looking at him. I'm Grout. <laughs> Why are you shouting? I, I was in a heated encounter. <laughs> Can I go back to that, by the way? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. I was, you know, I didn't want to be up in arms about it, but I was kind of doing something important when I was transported here, and it's not that I'm not flattered about whatever. And she looks at these, like, immaculately pristine <laughs> otherworldly beings, and she just kind of waves a bulbous fingered hand and is like, whatever this is. <laughs> Uh, very flattered, uh, and, uh, I just, I would like to go home to my babies. They are in a pool in the Astral Sea, and they are cooking, and they could pop any minute. They're co <laughs> you're cooking your babies? That just no, seems it's just, zero. it's just a gripply expression. I can't. <laughs> just just a right. big Astral, Astral Sea soup. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be important one day, mark my words. I didn't come this far in Desna's service not to have really cool celestial frog babies. I mean... Sometimes gnolls eat other gnolls, so I do not judge. Cool. Um, cool. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't I don't know about that, but yeah, no, whatever this is, which by the way, y'all look like you have your, you know, everything down, looks real nice. Um, I, I can't say I was doing anything as important, but... I would like to go back to trying to, um, uh, doing important things. Mm -hmm. I'm good. What's up? <laughs> At this point, they, the humanoid in full plate kind of turns and she says, these are, these are them? These, these are the, the strongest that we have left? The elkated humanoid. That sounds ominous. <laughs> Responds, and yeah, it's it's who we're who we're left with. Uh, look, if wait, time out. I wasn't in the top of the list. I'm what's yeah, left. He, he Did you not? Could you not find me? <laughs> I am we good can't. at hiding from magic, so I get it. <laughs> That's probably why we're good. We can't have you. Can't force you to do this, but. You are what is left of the material plane that could possibly combat what is going on. I assume most of you know what's going on, considering it seems that 
most of you were gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. They, she's like, yeah, I know. Like, that's... <laughs> she just steeples her fingers and leans forward and is like, of course, but why don't you review just in case anyone else doesn't remember what's going on? I was for, on hiatus and in my hammock, so nope, no idea. No, I know exactly what's going on. It's why I lost my job. Oh, no. That's so hard. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm ending. so sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, but like, you're saying you have a job for me? You could call it that. All right, I'm in. <laughs> you didn't even ask the pay. It's not important. Not, it's about... It's an about... internship. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Unpaid internship? <laughs> Curses. <laughs> Rip. Uh, yeah, they, they continue. And in response to Ripple, one of them speaks up and says, well, the one of the largest world-ending entities... She stops for a second. Two of the largest world-ending entities are fighting over who will take control of the material plane. If one of them were to win, then they would have control of it, but that's not the worst of the fate. This fight between both of them will probably continue for a while because they are quite out of the league of anyone that can stop them, and if it continues, it is slowly crushing the world under it. Yeah, my town got raised and the boss wasn't happy. He was dead. By world-ending entities? Why, well, if you've ever heard of the Tarask or the Tree Razor? Probably. Is that Tree Razor as in like raise up trees or raise as in like... R-A-Z. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and... It's like it's not even a word, so it is it's not a razor. It's not a razor like cut. Is R A Z E a word? Yeah, raising. Like yeah, to okay. raise. yeah, raise to it's burn. To, like, destroy. I, th I thought that was R A I Z E. I'm from Alabama. I can't spell. <laughs> Your Alabama wow. showing, yeah. Savage Alabama burn right there. Um, Ooh, self burn, nice. <laughs> yeah, the best kind. Uh. Yeah, she she kind of like narrows her her gaze on the the speaker, and like looks at everyone at, at, around the table and says, "Well, um, if the cities are being destroyed, I mean that's certainly not something we could. Uh, you think the four of us are going to be able to stand against two such horrible creatures?" Uh, forty four. Do I know what these things are? Uh, 44 what? 44, uh, I can do Arcana as pretty much everything. So, okay. religion, occultism, uh, whatever. You sounded so you... defensive. You're like, I, I can do I it as whatever I want, oh, so don't sorry. ask me. It's anything Wait, I want. I said it's a 44. I, I'm sorry, I meant 50, 51. I, I added the wrong stat. That's a, yeah, 50. That's a vast difference. <laughs> Uh, wait, hold on, 40? Yeah. <laughs> hold oh, on, guys. 72 <laughs> waffles, 72. Sorry, yeah, big level, level math Pathfinder. is hard. And we're off. Yeah. <laughs> 51. That, that, that age old does a 45 hit. Well, does a 46. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll find out the AC eventually. How about a 48? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, 51. You've definitely heard of both of them. You know that the... I mean, they're both, like, big names. All of you have probably at least heard of them. Uh, you know that the Tarask is supposed to be sealed away uh, after like a long time ago, like minus 600 AR. It was it had went on a rampage and destroyed a city. Uh, you also know that the Tree Razor like roams the material plane, but stays kind of to itself because it had a fallen out with. So the Tree Razor is like an abyssal demon kind of thing, and it had a falling out with its abyssal lord. Uh, and it has its kite with the abyssal plane. So basically, the one thing you know, like out of all of that, is that if the tree razor dies, it dies. Like it doesn't kill it. The abyssal plane. It's fighting with its demon daddy. Nice. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, they explain that to you, and then one of them pipes up on top of that and says, And, just to say, I know each of you have seemed to escape reality for a little bit and go to wherever you are, but if this material plane were to die, each of the various planes connected to it will receive some, receive some shortest some sort of shockwave. That's not good at all. The babies need the, the they, they need just the whole plane. No shockwaves. They have to stay very still in the sacks. I don't think that's science, but <laughs> that's what we're going with. <laughs> um, so, so we need to get right on this right away. She sort of looks at all of them a little desperately. Yeah, like I said, like I'll take the job. I'm currently jobless um but they did make a good point of uh bringing up pay and like don't get me wrong saving the material plane and all the other and the babies he points to <laughs> ripple um yeah, she just points back emphatically <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is reward in and of itself but like you guys and he just like waves to everybody across the table um you seem immaculate um typically that means you're like kind of powerful you gods or what's who are we dealing with here uh give me like as you're as you're like asking that question give me a religion check and then anyone else can too if you're trained in it oh i am <laughs> me, me <laughs> trained in religion <laughs> Uh, can my negative one succeed? <laughs> You're a rogue, aren't you? Trained in everything. Um, <laughs> you think? <laughs> Does a fifty-one Four. work for you? <laughs> Damn it! She stole my fifty-one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does. So, kind of looking them over, and that question comes out of Carilla's mouth, and. It sparks the like the thought in both Lark and Ripple's head. Uh, yes, these are clearly deities, or at least a manifestation manifestation of deities. Uh, you know that the elk-headed humanoid would be a rastal. That the armored yes, lady gosh. would be Ioma Day. The man with two mugs in his hand that hasn't really drank, uh, hasn't really spoken yet is Caden Kelly. A. And the last one with flaming hair around her body is Saren Ray. Caden's being real chill right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Just drinking. <laughs> Just drinking. He's here. You, with that religion check, I'll say you, you obviously know all He's of that. Over. And <laughs> you obviously know all of that. Blasted. And to double up on it, you kind of know that these are probably some of the most like that that would care the most about the material plane uh in the sense that like iomade just likes a good fight and wants to stop bad entities arastal mm -hmm. is huge on like the nature of the material plane and everything connected to it uh caden kaleen cares about his cities and stuff and same with saren ray she's wants to take all the evil out of the world and you got a tarask and a tree yeah. raiser so okay saren however <laughs> I am not trained in religion, <laughs> so I have no, no idea yeah. who these are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ripple is kind of, kind of like lean into you and go. You know, they say when you're looking for a job, it's not what you know, but who you know. And I think we can safely say that you know some pretty wildly popular folks. Um, and she sort Sweet. of introduces you to the, to the gathered uh, entities. Oh. Perfect. Um, okay, so first of all, like if this works and we're successful, can you guys like write me recommendations? <laughs> if we're successful, we get to basically own the world. It's great. We're heroes. We get oh, anything we want. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of responsibility. I just want a, you know, nice, safe job. One of them kind of like leans their head sideways and speaks up. If you're successful, you can't own the world. 
but you can have Damn pretty it. much whatever you want within the realm of mortality. Mm. Creo's eyes widen and then like looks at his newfound team, looks either side, and then just leans in across the table, um, kind of like looking for some privacy and just like whispers, um, can I, can I fly? <laughs> yes, we can make that happen. <laughs> There's like a no, long what? hesitation of like, is that what you really want? <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Sorry. yes. Okay, earned. Well earned. F Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all I the mean... F bombs we get in this show. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I totally. Uh, <laughs> PG 13 rating. My bad. We'll see about that. Well earned. I always loved the movies that like the PG 13 and they drop it in the first five <laughs> seconds on something dumb. <laughs> yeah, like they one... had Owen Wilson say it. Um. <laughs> Okay, no, yeah, he just, like, fist bumps to himself and uh, leans back and looks at his team and he's just like, all right, guys, we're going to fucking... <laughs> Wait, I didn't... I didn't... <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, so... I'm just going to see myself. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Canceled. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah, she, she says, I, for one, would really like... Uh, just like a new temple, honestly, for Desna. And if you could put in a good word, I mean, she totally knows who I am and everything, but like, <laughs> I'm thinking an upgrade to the Stair of Stars, maybe something super constellation y. I don't know. Just think about it. Like, a, maybe a temple like outside of Sinisher, like, it'll be really cool. Just, you know. Okay. That's I'm going to cool. need time to explain all the stuff I'm going to need. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. But we'll have I'm in. plenty of time if we do stop the material plane from ending. I, I do not agree with this. Okay, we'll send you back. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait no, hold on. I, I <laughs> maybe want to go back. I, yeah, I, I kind of... Weren't you doing, like, a big fight and you were saying, like, you like to fight? These well, are like the wanna, biggest, baddest waste. things ever. I was fighting an are ancient dragon. Are you not the dragon. biggest? That's single-handedly fighting an ancient dragon. I don't think it gets bigger and better than that. How long I is you it does. these things bigger than an ancient dragon? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> now, I mean, not, one of them is one, for sure. Yeah, one of, one of them is the same size, and one of them is larger. Yeah. She looks at Grunt. She says, "How long had you lasted by yourself against the ancient dragon?" Dragon. Uh, about six seconds before they took me out. <laughs> Solid. One round. Love it. Like yeah. <laughs> I would have gone longer. Yeah. Uh, that's at this what they point, all say. Three. <laughs> Creo has gotten up from their chair and is just like stretching. At this point, it's just like ready to go. Um, yeah, just uh, let us know when. Good. Well, what does everybody do here? Because if we're going into battle, we sort of need to understand, you know, the, the strengths, weaknesses, that kind of thing. Lark is currently, uh, he has an Aeon Stone, like, circling around his head, and he is currently just boredly circling around uh, Ripple's head in the same fashion. <laughs> so it's like a trifecta of spinning. <laughs> yeah. She, her, her big eyes are, right? like, <laughs> trying to trick. I yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I am the most powerful wizard alive, it sounds like. So there's that. I, I know all him. the magics. Well, I mean, if we're the most powerful left, I have to deduce that I'm the most powerful alive. Oh, I wasn't like sarcastic. Like, I believe you. I, I yeah. Oh, well, I like you. You can stay. I was planning on it. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I hit things great. You know? That's good. Yeah, That's good. like, can't catch me. Like, I'm really uh, quick, <laughs> and, and a lot of people can't really uh, seem to know when I'm coming, and that's just um, been good for me. Honestly. 
I mean, it's a I'm certain sure set of skills. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like, a certain set of skills. I, I have a certain <laughs> set of skills. I mean, like typically I'm like a bodyguard for important people and things like that. But like, um, they just never see me coming. So you and I basically, I'm thinking already you and I go in, you fly in, I'll be on your back, uh, coasting. <laughs> Uh, and we'll uh, strike from above, and it sounds like these two can just, <clears throat> you know, chase in from below. Yeah, uh, about that. Um, like, I can get you there, but, like, I wouldn't want to leave awesome. everybody behind. So, like, I'd probably stick with um, the ground crew. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's that so sweet. Making... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her reaction is, <laughs> aw, like... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I gotta, I, don't know. I gotta the, protect the, them. The frogs, the frogs got uh, the dragon wrestler, so I, I need somebody. So you know, you can join us. Air. Like you can <laughs> stick around. Yeah. yeah. She, she That's looks. That's evil advised. She looks at Lark and she puts a hand on her heart. She says, "Well, we all need somebody, Lark." Like <laughs> I know, and she doesn't want to. He doesn't want to hang out with me, and it. No, no, I want to uh, hang out with. What's your name again? Lark. Lark, I want to hang out with you, Lark. Um, why don't we all hang out together, though? Like a group hang. Like, like a, a group, group hang. Date. Let's like all get to know each other. We're yeah, all going to get stomped together. I love it. <laughs> and then, and Grau, you're, you said you're a, you're a fighter of some kind, right? I will wrestle the biggest thing. Do you use your and hands? Prove... Do you have a weapon? I will prove once and for all. <laughs> People with swords are not weak crybaby puppies. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. You know, Sorry. I, I sent have a sword. Sent <laughs> sentimentality and, and uh, willingness to be vulnerable does not make you weak, kid. I put a hand on your the shoulder. The fact that you Respect. couldn't beat a dragon does. <laughs> Thank you. He doesn't even like live. Yeah. <laughs> she, Lark, but like bristles. She glares at Lark and is like, "We're all fighting our own dragons, Lark, in our mind." <laughs> oh, I love this. So, so maybe much. you could just oh, be man. a little bit more accepting of people who are still getting up every day to fight. What I mean is going on. <laughs> Yeah, I never thought a bit that about it that way, but Drew. maybe, maybe I've been trying to fight my the dragon's wings this whole time. What? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really deep, Carrillo. <laughs> Thanks. Put the hand on your shoulder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just having this bro moment between the three yeah. of us. Like, <laughs> Lark's just sit, like flood, uh, fluttering around, like, what the heck? <laughs> in the corner being like oh yeah. god they've been they've Thousands been moving during this dying. time yeah they've been moving during this time kind of letting y'all do everything and you see them kind of uh they're collecting it looks like they're collecting things like you watch one like mm -hmm. he goes to step and then his step makes him disappear and then like five seconds later he like steps back out of thin air with like these i eight, know that spell <laughs> these eight like uh python looking things mm-hmm and kind of drops them on the ground uh but continues to let y'all talk if y'all weren't finished not on the table just like drops it on the ground like we have to like stoop. yeah okay yep <laughs> lark I mean... swoops down and collects one it makes it makes the most beautiful music you've ever heard just from the random ping 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 ping, ping. oh <laughs> oh uh lark it... starts playing them let's figure out i guess um you know how we i think we we know why um but how are we going to do this whole thing magic and yeah, like, wrestling where, where are they right now like they like move a lot yes they have been moving during their combat it's been going on for a couple of days now right now they are looks like they are headed to the the one of the coastlines of Galarian. Okay, okay. Do they like, um, like the water? Like, are they in the water? Do you think they'll go in there? I don't know. Mm. Maybe they'll oh, drink the... all of it and kill are everyone. You... 
Are you asking if the end of the world is gonna be a beach day, Carillo? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just like you know. I um, I have hollow bones. I'm pretty light, uh, so I can beach run day. along the water. I just wanted to like plan ahead. Um, no, and he turns the to the water. gods and he's like, "Sorry, I did oh. not mean that this was gonna be like a vacation." Um, <laughs> sorry if you took it that way. <laughs> oh man, the hollow bones really got me. Okay. <laughs> I promise I'm a diligent worker. The, the same god steps, disappears, steps back in with four, four <laughs> bottles of sunscreen. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> and swim trip. Those don't <laughs> go well with my feathers, but thanks. Pull, no pulls blood. the shades down. <laughs> pulls out the peach shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. She kind of walks up and begins applying sunscreen uh, to her face <laughs> and her arms, and then she reaches up and is like, okay, everybody, I'll do your back. Like, she's like definitely <laughs> maximum mom friending out. <laughs> Carillo's like trying to twist away, like, please don't apply that to my feathers. That is not gonna, like, no, no, I take care. Messes they with the aerodynamics. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Um, no, so what do we got, like, there by the beach? Um, I think we should just go. You think wing it? We should wing it? Ah! Hey. <laughs> well, we will say that there is... What could happen? You cannot kill the Tarask. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. What do you want us to do with it? Uh, that is why we Do brought we tame these. it. Yes, you tame it and ride it off into the sunset on the beach. Cool. That's Kato. awesome. <laughs> uh, no, that's they, so Caden. <laughs> they go, they go through it, and they tell you that's why they brought the pythons. Uh, they can also be used on the tree razor. Basically, they go. I'm gonna speed it up a little out of character here. Uh, they go through it, and they tell you the possibilities. So. They tell you that you could help one of them win, if you so chose. That would be uh, not the best, because the other one would likely rule the material plane. Uh, unless you then turned on that one or something. But, like, basically, you could focus down one and help that one win. But once they tell you that once one of them is the victor, that it will then have its deity behind it, powering it. And it will become more powerful. Uh, they tell you that you could destroy the tree razor, because it can't die and seal the Tarask. Or you could seal them both. Uh, and then they go... Like how? Yeah, they go into explaining it. So they have they show you these eight Python things. Uh, if I can go back over these during combat, but if anyone wants to take notes, now is probably a I'm decent doing time. doing it. All right, <clears throat> so you have, you have eight Pythons of this shiny black dark wood. Uh, and basically, these pythons would need to be stabbed into the creature. That'd be a weapon melee attack of whatever weapon you have. And then broken off. And that would be an athletics check. Because I, if, I if, if, grinning. if they're not broken off, they can be pulled out. Uh, okay. I flutter over the one that I was holding to, one of the, the big, strong ones. Oh, and then uh, is I'll there some <laughs> is there some kind of arcane thing afterwards that you know binds them to a place? What are we talking about here? Yeah, so so these will weaken the creatures, and they will it, every being corrected in the chat. Pitten, Python. I, I'm going to continue to say Python. I'm pretty sure it's Python. <laughs> I, I think you're it's right Python. for once. Well, I every thought it Piton. was Pitten. <laughs> Uh, but I'm, gonna gonna call it, I'm gonna call it P tone from now on. <laughs> Can you say it differently every time? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so every every P tone that you step inside them will reduce the DC by two. You have... It's actually P ton. I've okay. just looked it up. What? But say it however you want, because this is your show. <laughs> you have eight P tones, Pythons, Pythons, uh, for, <laughs> in total. <laughs> This is the rest of the game. Yep. Let's see how many different ways we can say this. Uh, and then they go on to explain that you have two separate ways that you can 
uh, actually seal them. So these are just okay. weakening things. Uh, you have arcane or occultic ritual that they will teach you. Basically, this is going to be the mechanics of this. You're going to be drawing a circle on the ground and not like in the sand, but like it's an actual magical circle. Uh, and then you place a gem within it and activate it. Uh, the There's a high check for it, so it's going to be DC 47 check. And before reductions? Obviously, Easy. Yeah, before reductions. Uh, a, crit, a crit gives you two points. A success gives you one. A fail gives you nothing. And a crit fail gives you minus one point. Uh, I'm going to stop right there and go over to the next one. The other one is religion or nature. And you can do one action. DC 50. Okay. Two actions. DC 48. Three actions. DC 46. And the same point system. What What are the points? Uh, th that's what I'm going to go into eventually. Okay. So these points... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just writing this down. So one action is DC 50, two actions 48, and three actions is 46. Yep. And uh, the first skill was what again? The, the second uh, religion, was religion, religion nature. or nature. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And okay, so that's or, the active or arcana. Ritual. Or arcana. Okay. Yeah, arcana is for the other got ritual it, got that it, ha it. It has like a slightly lower DC. And then um, you said like circle on the ground, place gem. Are those each an action? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. okay. But, but you can only do one of like the arcana or occultism. You can only do one of those per turn. Right. Okay. Uh, so basically, eventually, whichever one. Like you're you're racking up points, you can do all of them at the same time, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the incantation, if you get, if you, the incantation points stick. The arcane circle points, they can destroy the arcane circle if they focus attack on it. So like that would probably need need to be done further away slash have them weakened or something. Eventually, based on how many points you have and stuff, you will activate the ceiling ritual. It starts at a DC 35 fortitude saving throw, which I imagine you guys know your saves and know that these creatures are stronger. They would like right now it would auto succeed. But for every point you have and every hundred HP they have missing, the DC goes up. Goes up by like one per point or one or two, HP. depending on yeah, successes. One. Yep. Alrighty. Easy. Easy. Does that make sense? We have any any other questions? Yeah. No. I, I do have a question. Just like asking the gods, do we think we'll be able to like hit these things with like reasonable reliability or? Uh. They kind of look at you. Well, that is why we brought you here. We do think that you could put up a fight. The problem being that. If it was the true razor alone, I'm not sure you could kill it. It does have spell casting capabilities and it's not very dumb. All right. So here's the plan. Tree razor first. Uh, never trust. Yeah. Any... And he looks at Lark and Ripple. Uh, never mind. J you know, probably best Wait a minute. tactics to take care of the kill tree the strongest razor. first yes i understand yeah. yeah 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 but then doesn't the other one get like super strong oh uh, not if we then like it like if we could kill one and then weaken it and do the ritual on the terrasque well yeah we prepared the ritual on the terrasque help the terrasque kill the tree razor and then in the moment of victory we go ah <laughs> joke yeah actually that's, that seems then... smart yeah I, I am very super intelligent. Like this headband's not for nothing. Actually, okay. So, and I turn to the Makes gods smart. <laughs> for just to know. Tree razor smart. So, like, if we attack the Tarasque, the tree razor might be like, okay, cool, I'll help. 
but if we attack the tree razor, Tarask is dumb, might not do that. Um, but you mentioned that, like, if we kill one, the other gets powerful. Like, if I kill, I mean, if we kill the tree razor, will the Tarask, like, do we have time to get the Tarask? Is it, like, insta super powerful? It will become powerful almost immediately. Ooh. Uh, that if. It's it's if Rovagug is paying any attention, which we imagine that he is, uh, we can do our best to hold that back. But well, which uh, one of these things is it? I guess the other thing is which of these things is going to be easier to hit? Because is it a Tarask like a big boy, like a very big armor hidey boy? Well, we don't need to hit it. You just gotta stab it with the the spiky things, and then right. just heal it away forever. Don't we have well, to hit it by with the spiky things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's beside the point. Mm. <laughs> I think it as smart as you are, I think that is the point. <laughs> well. <laughs> and one of one of the answers you and tells you that the tree razor will be easier to hit, minus the fact that it will probably be paying more attention. Basically the Tarask is there to destroy things and just happens to have something strong beside it that it wants to destroy. The Tarask is like as dumb as Grout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. That is very wow. intelligent. That's, that's, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> and and uh, the Tree Razor will like be paying attention, will attempt to have you not hit it, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, but it is easier to like physically hit. The thing okay. is, there's like, you guys have to kind of stay back and then Grout and I are a little bit closer, but like we can't split up amongst both of them. I don't think we'd get anywhere. No, we have to. No, 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 no. Odd one. Well, I, they're both going to be like together because they're trying to kill each other. Right, probably. right. So we want to. I think we basically focus on preparing the Tarask and just keep its attention towards the Tree Razor. And then when we're like, ready, ready for the. Tarask, we go, all right, let's kill the tree razor real quick, and then... Mm, we just get the yeah. pines yeah. on the Tarask first. Right. I, yeah. I like that. I yep. like that. Yeah. You so are smart. prep it, and then go, boom. That's a World of Warcraft crap right there. Just <laughs> yeah, raid boss, boss the shit out of it. Yeah, and then kill the ads. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You stupid healer, get out of the way! Yeah. He, he yeah. Was helps, left yes, side! Sir. Yeah. Please, please don't stand in fire or uh, it's going to be a bad day for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. More dots. More dots. I'm ready. Handle it! If uh, one of us doesn't scream handle it by the time <laughs> this is over, I'll lose it. I'll lose my mind. <laughs> speaking right. of... Yes. Speaking of fire, is there any one of you that use primarily fire? Uh, I have... Well, Grout has flaming weapons, it looks like, and uh, I have fiery magic, among other kinds of magic. My sword is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> well, that will... We can help change that, but that will likely not work against the Tarask. Mm, we should... We should. Uh, yeah, what kind of other powerful, cool stuff that isn't fire could we put on those swords, baby? My fire is very strong. It ignores Basically, resistance. <laughs> oh. Okay. So does mine. Is it can. immune or resistant? Yes. It, it can't be both. <laughs> but you don't know which one it is. So. I rolled a 51. But do I know what it is? Do. No, you don't. DC 60. Damn it. Get wrecked, nerd. That sounds made up. Nope. Can I? Well, okay. no, I wouldn't. But the it's gods the would know, sheet. and the gods would definitely tell us. They tell you that fire has much less capability, but it can take fire damage. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks, so if gods. they ignore resistance, <laughs> yeah. then yeah. Hey, thanks, gods. Freeze frame. Thanks, gods. Um, okay. Uh, so, but that, so the fire will be fine because you guys are extra powerful fire users? Is that what I'm hearing? My um, sword is really strong. 
okay. I mean, I have fireball. I'm more like precise. I like stab just like under the scales. Like I'm pretty precise. You know, yeah. with small weapons to their internal organs that probably mm -hmm. are a mile away. Yeah, uh, most of my stuff is like holy fire from the heavens, like star fire. Uh, you know, so I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I don't know if that yeah, counts as fire, or not just like. No, it's radiance, but you know. Oh, yeah. you know, I do have a I do have a ray that does fire damage, so maybe maybe I should prepare something else. Cam camera pans to the fifteen thousand people dying in a city right now. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. every second, <laughs> thousands are dying. <laughs> All right. about me. I think we're ready. I need to stop at the bathroom, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, can we, like, um, do you guys have drinks up here? <laughs> nah, I should go for a quick lunch, you guys. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't like to fight on a full stomach. Hey, you'll cramp. Gotta let it digest. Yeah, like, let's <laughs> eat. Do you have something that turns spells into, like, fire spells into not fire spells? Is that why you're asking? Or are you just yeah. kind of telling us we're doomed? No, we can change the capabilities of it. If you no I longer want it to be a fireball, it can become an ice ball. I oh. lift up my necklace of uh, fireballs. Can this be ice balls? Sure. And you watch uh, awesome. a rastal kind of wave his finger on it, and it you like feel the cold from it for a second, and then it goes back away, and it seems... Just like your necklace of fireball, except you assume it's gonna cast an ice ball now. Basically it's the awkward if same it exact didn't. same exact stats, it's just gonna do cold damage. Yeah. Beautiful. Cool. Could I could you change my searing light to be like maybe like acid light? Just like <laughs> a rave. <laughs> they <laughs> they kinda hesitate for a second. Unfortunately, no. Your your powers come from one of us and that can only be changed by one of us and that's the god like <laughs> <laughs> damn okay that's fine i'll i'll live with it i'm probably New just gonna kill anyways grow like are you uh, sure you don't want to like be like super cool ice sword or like electric sword and like ice my lame. tattoos like shoot Fire's electricity cool. up and down <laughs> shut up <laughs> uh, <laughs> what Waffles, can I just, yeah. like, have them transmute my magical fire powers also into ice? No. <laughs> oh. Rude. They, di they did one thing for you. <laughs> greedy. These gods. Wow. Greedy. What do we mean they greedy? Can all, they can They're only like, can affect... you go save the world for us? That'd be cool. <laughs> they can, they can like, only affect the material mark. plane so much. That's why they have B team here. <laughs> Whoa. True. So you admit it, we are B team. <laughs> he calls the B team. Now I don't want to help. Send me back to Feywild. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and then I will say, Ripple, when you like try to get your uh, yeah. abilities changed, they they tell you that they can't, but they do tell you that your uh, your godly powers would have effect, like very much effect on the tree raiser. Oh man! Well, get ready, tree raiser, because you're going <laughs> down. All right. Are y'all ready? Oh, yeah, yep. I'm ready. End us. Okay. They give you a six second countdown. So if anyone wants to do. Jesus. Uh, if Wait. anyone wants to do one turn before they. Oh. oh they're all cool. like bringing their hands up slow to snap you. And we're getting. Oh, are we. Into the fight? Yeah. Are we going like yep. right in onto yep. a Tarask? That's uh, like, can, like. I mean, you can tell them where you want to go. They, they told you they're just going to teleport you to the fight. So. Can you? I hand think we me, should just go for it. Can you like put me above the Tarask? Sure. Cool. Cool. cool, well, cool can cool, cool. can I get like can I get like a a couple like a minute to do something? <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> Freeze but, but like for, Twenty thousand people dying. Yeah, I was like, but <laughs> for fine. every second, your parents <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah. Does it, my parents are fine. Uh, uh -huh. I look at uh, Grout and Carillo Car and go, all right, which one of you is going to be in the most danger zone? 
Grat raises his hand. <laughs> yeah, we both raise our hand. If you can make me invisible, that'd be hype. Uh, all right. Well, first, and I go to a Grout, and I give energy Aegis. Uh, oh, what and does I, that mean? Do I know anything about, you? with my knowledge check, do I know anything about the tree raiser's magic or anything? Like, what kind of energy would be good? I mean, it's a demon, right, you said? So probably negative. Yep. Yep. That's right. the that's the sense you get. Negative is probably the worst. All right, perfect. Then you have resistance five to negative damage for a day. Thank you. Sweet. Um, and then real quick, I will uh, give you also you and Carillo. I each give a potion of uh, time shield, and I go. If you get in a really bad place because you're all up front and stuff and they're going to eat you or smush you or just, I don't know, terrible things, this will shunt you out of time and space and for an indeterminate amount of time, you will not exist and then you'll exist again and hopefully it wow. won't be so bad where you were. Cool. Uh, but don't use it unless you have to because you'll be gone and we need you. But this is in case. Okay. Cool, cool. Or No, sorry. I only give it to uh, Grab. Not... <laughs> Carillo, so you gave actually, I'll thing. give it to Carillo, not Grout. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said, and, that's, and then I then I cast foresight of myself, and I'm done. Time shift. Well, uh, time. I'll I'll DM you. I will cast upon myself divide vessel, and gain uh, a fly speed, a temporary hit points of uh, forty, and the question I have as a noob. Uh, is it says weakness 10 to the alignment opposite the one that I choose. Yep. So, so what's your DNA again? Desna? Yeah, Desna. It says uh, you gain the features of one of their servitors. You choose an alignment. You uh, can't cast a spell if you don't have a deity, yada, yada. Uh, yep. The spell gains the trait of the alignment that you choose. Yeah. Uh, Desna has the follower alignments of neutral, good, chaotic, good, chaotic, neutral. Okay, uh, I think we're going with what, whatever you are. It should be, yeah. but if you haven't picked one, okay, then you would be one cool, of those. awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, and then a plus one status save against uh, spells. I get dark vision, which I already had, I think, uh, and unarmed attacks. Yada yada yada. Anyways, it just gives. I'm beefy, and so I transform um, because we're gonna have a magical girl sequence at the beginning of this fight, That's apparently. So. Um, and you see as this, uh, this, this Gripley is suddenly surrounded by silk, tons and tons of silk, like spectral silk, uh, surrounding her like a cocoon. And then she bursts out of it and she's just this, she grows in size. Um, she's medium. So she becomes large, uh, mm -hmm. and just a big, purple butterfly made of like constellations and starlight. Oh, mm. oh feeling okay. pretty like yeah. not prepared compared to what everybody's doing. <laughs> um, yeah, what's that? Gonna... Your cool god powers. Yep. Yeah, um, I just look around and grab one of my potions, chug it, and disappear. Hot. Uh, that's what I'll do. Grat does his pre-workout routine and takes three <laughs> potions: uh, a cheetah's elixir, a misform elixir, and a potion of fire retaliation. Oh my god! Actually, actually... so he begins glowing with fire energy. Do not care. <laughs> you know what, though? There's no reason not to take another one with nobody seeing him. He also takes the potion of quickness. Get some haste. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> But you didn't see it. <laughs> Alright, is everyone ready? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm ready. I have more spells I could cast, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's... I mean, let's I, I'm die. sure some of them have a duration, which is passing while you're casting spells, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I wait for the last second. I'll, I I'll, also, I'll also cast Foresight on myself before I do that, I guess. And then right when we go, I'll do my uh, Divine Vessel. Let's do All this! Right. Yep. Boom. You guys get shunted as the gods all bring up their fingers, snap, and oh, it is beach day. Reveal, reveal the two monsters. Oh, God. 
This is. I'm so scared. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh, yeah, so this will be. This will be a piece of cake. Yeah, they're tiny. Drag yourselves up <laughs> where you want wait, to be, wait, and wait, let's wait. roll some initiative. Oh shit! Ah! Well, we're bigger than I imagined. <laughs> yeah, I thought. All right, that... First of all, this is a gorgeous map. It's very yeah, aesthetically so cool. pleasing. Good job. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> I'm Thanks. in. Now it that reminds me of like the Final Fantasy VIII beach scene. Whoa. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> um, Neither oh, it we. totally does remind me of the Final Fantasy beach scene. <laughs> um, Guys, it's Sephiroth. I'm going to zoom in now and no one will ever see the rest of the map. <laughs> are, these, are these distances accurate? Yes. I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright guys um... uh, Yeah If you have your character on roll 20 Then mm -hmm. Please click your token And roll initiative If not roll initiative and tell me what your initiative is Can okay. I roll initiative I... with stealth Because I'm invisible Yeah Fuck yes Oh right yeah sure. there it goes Can I again. roll initiative with yeah. athletics Because I have really big muscles No can I roll Can initiative I... with religion because I'm focused on channeling for my deity? Uh, sure. I'll let you roll initiative with religion. Uh, Grout, if you want to roll with athletics, you can, since you were doing Yo. your pre-workout. Okay. OP. 36. All right. Get this up here real quick. 49. Nobody beat the monsters. You mean the god entity is big surprise? Oh, jeez, who could have seen this happen? It's okay, they rolled very poorly. Woo! Alright. They rolled poorly yeah. and we still lost. You guys Those are nat ones. get shunted into the middle of this battle up here. Most of your feet wet. Uh, we have... I don't have... What are y'all's names? None of y'all changed your names. I'll kill you. I'm what? sorry. Oh. It's okay. I'll, do it. I'll do it right now. We have Carilla landing on top of the Tarask. We have Grout and Ripple a little closer with Lark in the back line. Mm -hmm. And huh? it's the Tree Razor's turn. Be I as, thought I as rolled like near the bottom, but sadly I'm towards the top of our team. Um, initiative. Yep. That's true. You are not good. The best. No, no, second best actually. But okay, as y'all jump in, you do see the Tarask and the Tree Razor fighting, but it's much. It's like a the best way I can explain it. It's like a heavyweight boxing match or something. Like they're there, they're fighting. Like one of their feet would definitely crush you, but it's hard for either of them to land a huge hit on each other you can tell that like they're a little winded they're probably a little weaker than they normally would be but it's not like the tarask is missing an arm or something like these are these are it's a wall hitting a wall basically like the tree razor takes its turn and actually i'm sorry as y'all all pop in i don't even get to take my turn yet <laughs> i need Fortitude saving throws from all of you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's unfortunate. And you all, you all have an extra hero point as well, so you have two hero points because oh, gods ooh. like me. It's super they shocking. are pretty skimpy for gods. I'm just saying. They can't mess with the material plane. That's a pretty thirty-seven fortitude. Hold on, my fortitude. Everything's being slow. I think Foresight gets a, gives us advantage on the save. Uh, only, I think you have to choose uh, when you're using oh, it. Because Foresight no, is a when reaction, you're yeah. Yeah, defending against something. See, I know things. I learned. I read books. <laughs> it's all coming together. Yeah, I'm going to take that uh, Foresight now. 
Yeah, I rolled a two, so don't love that. So I'm going to take foresight again. I'll take All foresight right. as well. Yeah, I'll so use mine definitely. Is this considered a, if it's a reaction to use, uh, but it's not a, our turn yet? At the start of our turn, we would have another reaction, right? It's up until. Do you have our... foresight? Oh. Is that something? Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought you cast. No, 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 we we each cast it on ourselves. Got it. All right. Yeah. That's much better. Uh, you can use a hero point if you wish, or not. I cool. rolled a forty-two. I'm a suffer. Okay. Uh, we I have got a forty to. Oh yeah, no, thirty-seven. We have. Those, sorry, forty-three. One success. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. For the. Slightly lower. If anyone knows these monsters, the DCs and ACs and everything are slightly changed. So, oh, thank uh, God. Ob obviously, they're CR 25 and these are level 18 characters. So, they're a little weakened, but they're still very, very strong. Uh, one success. Everybody but uh, Ripple huh? sees Ripple. their skin like f from the sand up and then like just pieces of their skin begins molding over or growing little like sprouts out of Ew. it and much of your organic material begins turning plant like oh no wait and cool for, <laughs> no. he's for turning all, us into for, a tree so he can raise us oh uh -oh. no <laughs> so he can chop you down with his axe uh for all intents and purposes everyone except for ripple uh Acquires the plant tag. Honestly, oh, no. I'm a little jealous. Uh, <laughs> no. Hey, you want to take it? Like, like the time I trade. ate that mushroom. Hey guys, you want to step over there and photosynthesize? I could go for a bite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like aside from the plant tag, does that do anything? Uh, not right now. Okay, this is good. I'm sure it will become important. <laughs> He is the tree ah. razor, so. Mm -hmm. And and actually, chat chat's got me. Chat's got me doing some some good thinking here. Uh, you guys popped in randomly. Neither of these creatures knew you were coming, so we did roll initiative, but we'll start on a surprise round. Grout, your turn. Oh, sweet. We yeah, just get does. one action on a surprise, though, right? No, not in or like two two. Nope, surprise is a condition, so like you roll initiative and these have the surprise condition, therefore they can't act, but all you can, like it's normal. Perfect. So, Grout, he, I think he's going to stick to the plan and um, just walk up to the trash and hit it with the pit and or python thing. And by that, I mean he's going to leap up to the trash's neck. Uh, should I roll an athletics check for that? Or like how far is it to the trash's neck? Uh, it is, what, gargantuan creature, creature, 40, 50, probably like 50 feet. 50 feet, okay. Easy. Um, okay. Then I'm going to have to use two actions to do like a, like, double, like, jump with cloud jump pretty much. Um... So, wait, that's not how that works. <laughs> well, I, you can use cloud jump to extend your jump to like with further action, right? Y yep. Yes, you can use two actions to jump further, but it's not tripled for high. Oh, okay. Um, I, I only I know this because I did a lot of math yesterday. <laughs> that's right. My apologies. Um, so I guess can I just make like two 25 foot jumps with two actions pretty much? Uh, yeah, probably. Do you have wall jump? Yes, but I think cloud jumping is even cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll let you, like, you can jump, land, try to, like, land, try to land on its, like, knee or elbow or something. Like, you have to land somewhere, especially if you're not wall jumping. And then you'll have to jump again. Okay, sweet. Then that's a 54 and a 46, which I think makes the... Like 25s? Yes, absolutely. 
Alright, and then I would like to attempt to grapple it. <laughs> okay, so what? You run up, you like jump up, jump on its knee, jump again, and you want to jump up to its neck, is what you said? Yes. Alright, you jump up to its neck, basically landing right beside Carrillo here. And you can give me an athletics check. Oh. Well, uh, I, now I'm gonna. I'm gonna um, hmm. You know, they say yeah, use them and lose them. I'm gonna hear a point that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> right off. Another nat one. 39. Oh. Nat four. Uh, hey. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that doesn't work. That's a warm up. No, that's my warm up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is why you stretch before the game. Yeah, <laughs> That's I, true. honestly, I'm, feel, yeah, I'm not quite limber. Just give me another round. Yeah, we should have rolled some dice, you know, instead of dicking around. <laughs> I'm so having yeah. bro moments. <laughs> yeah, they we were did have really heartfelt. Moments. Okay. They yeah, were honestly, it. it was worth Stab it. Stab it in. <laughs> like actual in. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, I'm going to continue with my call, even though it's wrong. <laughs> Mark, your turn. Uh, Lark had teleported into here, clutching a wand that he hoped to not use right now, but seeing how close and terrible this is, he goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, crap! Ah, crap! Everybody go fast now! Kill it! Quickly! And he waves the wand, and every, uh, the whole party gains haste. Ooh. Uh, as I cast a 7th level haste out of my magic wand. I nice. already am hasted! <laughs> Get wrecked. I grumble well, you, about uh, that. You did it well in this. <laughs> <laughs> and and as as I cast that, I gain an action. And so to I either, am to also... To either move or strike. That's rude. Uh, <laughs> then I will uh, move. Yeah, I will just uh, move over here and cast a uh, shield with my last action. I'm sure it'll protect me. <laughs> I'm sure it will. It definitely won't break. Yes. Okay. With that, Carrillo, your turn. I'm scared. It is me. Uh, as I just stare. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Carrillo, middle Carrillo, we're waiting. Yes. Um, okay, so, like, I pop in at the very, like, like above the Tarrasque, like, in the air. And my invisibly just, you know, like spread my wings and catch some air and just glide down right on top of it. Um, what we're gonna do. Um, by the way, I'm assuming there's four pitons, pitons, pitons on me and four on <laughs> Grout, right? We probably like split it amongst the front, the frontliners. Wow, so way not to give me any. <laughs> I don't want them. Um, <laughs> I throw one at your face. Okay. Um, there's too much. Um, so, in doing so, not that I need to, um, I'm assuming that f it would be the action to get down, right? Like, with Catfall, regardless, I... Even if I'm in the air, does it take my action to get to like fall? Uh, you're. I said what you started on top of it, unless you didn't want to. I asked to be in the air, but you know it doesn't matter. And they started you in the air, but you fall immediately. Right. Okay. So like okay, that's, okay, just, okay. that's just how it works. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I don't. It. It hasn't taken a turn yet. I'm invisible. Is it flat-footed to me? Yeah. I like it. Because you're invisible. All right, then we'll just... And and because I'm calling it a wrongful surprise round, so they're flat-footed. <laughs> um, the non-existent surprise round. It's fine. It's fine. Um, are it. we like? Just, yeah, I'll just hit it. I don't know if we're stabbing pythons into it right away, but like, I need to see if I can even do any damage to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I'm mm -hmm. just gonna, you know, we're gonna hundred practice. hit points gives us bonuses. True. 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 Um, all right. So with my uh short sword drawn and it's just like fancy it's not really a short sword it's like this curved blade that has uh, uh 
uh, dwarven like ruins all over it, um, and it just it's clearly a super fancy sword. Um, I just go and I try to like get right under a scale right on its back. All right, give me the attack. That's a forty-three. That's not bad. That is not bad, but you but. stab into it. Ping, pings off the scales. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, that's bad. You were pretty sure that you had an opening, and you go to like stab it right between two scales. You watch one of the scales shift, so you get the sense it was kind of close, but did not see. happen. I see. Well, you know, I'm gonna do it again because heck. <laughs> um, and do you need hey. me to balance up here? Like, do you need me to like? Am I good? Yeah, right. you're fine right now. It's a big enough monster. Um, full now. They ain't trying to throw you off. You're on the back of a mountain. Yes. Um, let's let's try that again. It shifted. It left like a different part open. Let's just let's just. Boop. Nope. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nope. That's worse. That's for my second crit. attack. Um. Yeah. Let's just go for the crit because what else do I have to do up here? Let's try it again. Farming. No. <laughs> the triple attack crit farm. No. I got a 43, 38, 38. Miss. 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 And you. I'm just like hacking you, away. Yeah, you become visible on the first attack. And you just, you guys see Carilla just stabbing away and just ping, ping, just off of everything. Ripple. Okay. I have questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So my my first question is just to make sure that, that I don't waste some actions here. We as a group are focusing all of our attention on getting this Tarrasque pinned down before we start on the other creature. Are we we're, are we scared? We're heavily focusing. Yeah. Because I don't I don't have a lot that I can do to like weaken this creature to our attacks. Um so it do we feel is it a bad idea if I just like summon a creature to start wailing on the other thing? Just like whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna make a decision for once in my life. Uh and so I'm going to go ahead. Thanks, thanks guys. Uh and when it says sustained, does that mean I have to use an action to keep it up? Uh yeah, next turn. So like yeah. your actions to cast it this turn is the actions of it and then sustain. You have you don't have okay. to. You can choose cool. not to sustain it and then it goes away. And then it goes away. Well, no one wants that. Um, so I am going to go ahead for now uh, and take two of my actions to cast a uh, spiritual guardian um, and within 120 feet. And I will cast it. Uh, kind of at the back of the terrasque here, or sorry, at the uh, the back of the um, the what do you do the tree razor? Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm 100% clicking on the map on Twitch. I was like, why isn't the little circle <laughs> happening? Because you're an idiot. Over here is kind of where I'm thinking. Um, okay. And it'll just be just uh, like a swarm of of starlight butterflies uh, is how I imagine it. Um, let's see. It says. The, the Guardian can't take damage except when protecting an ally. Um, so that'll be fun if it manages to make it that far. But <laughs> yeah, it'll just be there. Uh, and it contributes to multiple attack penalty, yada yada. Uh, guardian strikes are melee spell attacks. Um, and other than that, it just says uh, Guardian's damage increases by 1d8 and its hit points by 20 based on how high uh, a thing you use for it. So I guess I will go ahead and cast that at level uh, seven and I will get back to you on all of its hit points and everything because yes. I didn't realize that there wasn't just like a number of things. Uh, so yeah, okay. cool. So that, that happens um, and she will kind of glide forward with her remaining 10 feet of movement um, to be closer to, but not exactly next to, uh, her sweet pixie friend, right? Sprite. Sprite. But I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Rude. Oh yeah. my god! It is. It is rude, but it's what happened. So I'm sorry. <laughs> rude as heck. Okay. Okay. It's the tree raises turn. 
uh, having eyeballs to see what happened. <laughs> Glances around, sees all the partial plant people. It spends two actions to let out a pulse of sickly green energy. Uh oh. That heals plant. That doesn't reach. That does not reach the pixie. Woo! Uh, I'll let that one I slide. Do... Sprite. <laughs> that does not reach the pixie sprite. I do need more fortitude saving throws from the two peeps riding the Tarasque. You know, I don't know why I didn't think to boost some of that fortitude. We're Tree Razor's friend. 49, right. never mind. I hate him. <laughs> 46. Those are good. Uh, they both succeed, so you're only going to take <sighs> half of 20d8. And I have Juggernaut, so this is crit oh, success. If half I the 20d8. Oh. Okay, you succeeded, so it is... It is zero damage for... Grout. Mr. Grout. What kind of damage? Oh. Negative damage. Womp. Be real good if you had that Aegis energy on you. Yeah, it would be nice, but, you know, you hate me, Keg, so it's cool. I gave you, you a fun. cool potion. It kind of tickles. You know, you feel like this plant matter that has become part of you at this point begin to decay over you. And it, man, it hurts as you just, you take, what is that? 44 damage. Ouch. 44 negative damage, and you feel this, like, really harsh like this negative feeling and the sickness come over you but you're able to resist it with your fortitude so <laughs> uh could have been very bad if you failed but you didn't that will now go on recharge as it takes an axe attack at the tarasque get some get rack. uh 56 hits all right you watch it slash into the tarasque the tarasque lets out a Yeal, and by like that, by those two actions, you get the sense that like with y'all showing up, you watch the tree razor's eyes like land on the pitons. Oh no! And I was you get the you get the sense that they stepped up the battle a little bit. They're not just heavyweight swinging anymore. Uh, oh, so tree is the is like really in, smart. Like, okay. Plant things as well. No, looks like they were able to resist. Interesting. Wait, so the Trask has a good fortitude saving throw? That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a safe bet. Yeah. 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 All right. That's the Tree Razor's turn. Trask turn. Uh, the Trask going to do what the Trask going to do. The Trask is going grout. to. We're going to we're going to do one, two, Carrillo, three, four, Grout. I, I pat his neck a little. He wouldn't even. He doesn't even know I'm here. I'm like a fly. I mean, I didn't Wait. touch him either. You are like a fly. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's swatting, swatting flies right now. Why are you swatting the fly when there's a like dude with a gun in front of you? Three, four, grout. Oh my goodness. Get him! I can't jaw attack you, which is good. So that means I can't grab you right now. Mm-hmm. My job. That's not, not how that works at all. All right, lashes out with a claw. Does a 48 hit you? Yes. Does it crit you Wobble. with a plus 10? No, it does not. Okay, okay. You take 45 slashing damage. Oh, good. Uh, actually, I reduced that by um, four because of my plate man. Nice. Then you watch 41. it. 41. <laughs> 41. Then you watch it spin around. And let's cones fly out of its tail. Or cones, goodness. Let spines <laughs> fly out of its tail uh -oh. in a cone towards our two ranged folks. Oh no. <gasps> I hate that. I, I need from each of you a reflex saving throw. Oh. Um, the Wilhelm scream. That seems rude. <gasps> this is, this is a, an area effect. Yes, it is. Great. So 45, 46. 
So I uh, whip up my dragon, my, or rather my butterfly form uh, throws up its its uh, dragon slayer shield uh, to block, and I roll a 46. Okay. 46, you both just fail. Boo! What? Just, what just is this barely. game? <laughs> I quit. I've rolled a natural rest 17. Is, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's it fine. isn't. Also, I think both of your reflex saving throws are bad. So natural 17s aren't great compared to like a rogue reflex saving throw. So don't sure, argue with sure. me. Wow. Oh, I'm hey not guys. arguing. I'm just sad. <laughs> uh, you, you both take 33 points of damage. 33? Guess what I just Got remembered. Huh. I am hasted. Rip. That's true. <laughs> you could have attacked four times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's I've got good. seven butterfly temp HP. Left. Well, there goes my 15 temp HP. All right. But you took 33 mm -hmm. piercing damage, but that's both of the creature's turns. Hooray. Uh, you guys do, I will say, at the top of the round, it's like they're fighting and, like, the tree razor hits to Teres, the Teres roars, and, like, they're just stomping around. You do, like, hear thunder rolling in the sky and feel the ground shaking a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're having is there fun. another one joining the party, or...? <laughs> Yep, that, that dragon that you were wrestling shows up. The ancient dragon you were fighting earlier is coming to chill. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the alpha, the omega, and the beta. Um, uh, Grout. I am going to, you know, grappling can wait a minute. I think I'm going to try and pitin before we all get killed. How? Yeah, what's the that. role for that? Is it, Can I wield a pitin like a sword and like, you yeah. know... Yep, it's your melee weapon attack. Alright, I'll do a katana one hand with that. Yeah! <laughs> katana piton. 51! That is a hit. <laughs> I'm awesome. Alright, you stab it in between two little scales on it, and you know you were told to break it off. Uh, I guess I'll break it off, okay. I mean, you don't have to. You can attack again and Are let it attempt to pull it out. That'll be good. Um, and that's just an athletics. Do I have a minus because I made an attack, or since this is yes, a... okay. Uh, we can we can call it agile. Okay, so forty one with agile. Forty one is DC forty to break it. So Ooh. you got it. Yes. Woo! <laughs> break it off. Uh, it now has one piton in it. <laughs> we piton? will denote uh, that piton with a red circle. Pitoni. Pitoni. <laughs> Pitoni. <laughs> With my um, with my hasted action, I'm going to try and pitone him again. Okay. So that's a <laughs> minus ten. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, it's a minus eight because we're calling these agile. Oh. Ah. So that's thirty-four, but I don't really think that's going to no. hit. Ching. Hits off one of the scales again. That these scales are moving around, like blocking your attacks actively. You drop it. Oh, great. <laughs> Yeah, That's you, you drop it, you fall off, you you land on your neck, and you're dead. That's unlucky. And then with my final action, <laughs> I think, nope, you know, I dead. think I'm just going to roll a nat 20 on my athletic check to grapple him. Oh! That's a 53 Ooh. minus 10 for a 43. Uh, yeah, what? Grapple is fortitude DC? I oh, thought yeah. it was reflex DC, but I could be wrong. Uh, it definitely could be. That's why I'm asking. Let's see. I pulled it up earlier. Let's see. It's fortitude DC, right? Oh boy, it is. That's never <laughs> yep. happening. <laughs> uh, it definitely didn't happen. You know, you you're trying to catch up. Is it reflex? It. No, it's it's fortitude. You're right. Yeah, I was about to say that's not what Nets said. If it's reflex, Nets is lying to me. Okay. Uh, I have a backup. Don't worry. Yep. Uh, you you do think though that if you weren't tired from attacking like crazy that it would have been close it would have been close as in it still wouldn't have succeeded you're not sure but like okay. basically like after being attacked three or four times like it was just it was ready to shrug a little shrug it off yeah struggle right. it off struggle it off oh i skipped our sprite friend okay sprite. yeah what the heck <laughs> i know why I... you skipped me you fear the horror that is about to send upon you uh as uh the wonderful sprite uh, kind of looks over at the froggy friend and says, All right, 
we should split up because because that was unpleasant. Mm -hmm. uh, and he flies over this way, not to get near the tree razor because that aura seemed unpleasant. And raises his hands as I'm going to spend an action to do overwhelming energy as my hands start to spin with just fire and from the sky the clouds part and meteor strike on <laughs> uh, both of these guys and none of the friend. well no you can do that do it you're a very good spellcaster so you can have it like overlap like no i know but uh i think the burst however is going to be unpleasant it's cool because it's a 40 foot burst is it i'm going to do it either way uh, uh We'll find out. The the bludgeoning damage is only going to hit these two. I'm going to hit them both, though. Okay, uh, and so, so you're going to hit them both, which means the burst will hit the people on top. Hit, hit the friendlies, yes. All right. But it's, it's fire damage. You're fine. I love friendly uh, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it didn't... Uh, I thought I did a save. All right, so it is 66 bludgeoning to each of them, uh, to the, the bad guys. Six. They do ten, basic. So. Oops. Do I, do I get a reflex? Yeah, uh, it is basic reflex against my DC of 40. Okay. Okay, okay. And sorry, I'm doing dice damage now. Uh, that's 10. <laughs> I love just 15. the sheer amount of rolling. Oh, take the last <laughs> one off, so. Let me get my calculator out as I be <laughs> doing wizard stuff. Welcome to level 18 Pathfinder. <laughs> 33 bludgeoning damage, which okay. ignores any resistances. Sure. And, I like that. Less math um, for me to do. <laughs> 41 fire damage, um, ignoring resistances. Or let okay. me double check. So, yes. I was about to say, do you, do you ignore all resistances? Like, period? That's, or is it like, I ignore up to 10 points of resistance? Um, now, hold I, on. I, I think it's 18, 18 uh, points of resistances. Okay. Is this of fire of fire of the fire only? Are we resolving the saving throws though? For is it us as well? Do we all like the splash? Or We're whatever? doing the fire, yeah. That also has a saving throw. Yeah, you have to do a saving throw, a reflex saving throw, against the uh, fire. Cool. Oh boy, thirty nine. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. Well, we have to 46 more, so don't worry, waffles. plus evasion, yada, yada, yada. Oh, no. No. And you probably have like, zero damage. Can't touch this. Uh, <laughs> what what damage am I taking again, Kirk? I got interrupted by PC reflex. Uh, 41 fire. Okay. And 33 bludgeoning. Okay. You watch the terrasse take next to zero damage. Ignores and 18 of the fire resistance. Yep. It's taking X to zero damage because of resistances. Uh, it failed. And then you watch the tree razor take about the same amount of damage because it succeeded. So they both take <laughs> up like 25-ish damage. You did something. That was almost worth it. <laughs> it was a big almost spell. worth it. And then I take 31, right? Because I uh, just barely failed. The fire. 41. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh God! Yeah, wait, succeeding wait, a reflex so saving I make throw. A sense. Who took damage? Where is it? Where? Where's the baby? Where's the so, hurt baby? I <laughs> took damage originally okay. from the plant fortitude okay. issue, so I'm down a, a chunk, and then Grout also Noted. just took damage. Noted. Yeah, that's like my second hit for forty-ish. So. Your request yeah. about received by management. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, HR takes forever here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you, what you got going? Is that it? Sprite? That's it. I moved three actions. We're good. Uh, you have okay. haste. He moved. No, the move three. was oh, my haste. Oh, moved and three action. Okay, sorry. Yep. All right, Carrillo. Yes, I remember that's my name this time. <laughs> that's a that's progress. I think we're so we've reached peak, and I'm good. <laughs> that's true. All right, um, so we're going to... Now, my lovely newfound friend, Grout, is on the Tarasque. And I have a lovely feat uh, called Gang Up, 
That means that's all I need for it to be flat-footed to me. I don't need to flank. That's flanking. Uh, so, it's, again, flat-footed, um, which is lovely. And seeing that, like, okay, my sword's not doing it, but I'm not going to be outdone by Grout because I have to do a good job to get that recommendation. Uh, so let me grab that python, pitten, piton, and go for it. <laughs> it's pronounced piton. Le piton. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do a regular attack to start. Ooh! Hey! That's a critical. Ooh. Oh, I by think the way, a crit misses. We have to remember that I crit on 19s as well, and Varso, you crit on 18s and 19s, right? And I crit on 19s. Oh, 19th? I don't know why I saw 18th. Okay, cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, no, that's Thank a Thank you for reminding me, actually. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so that's 60 piercing damage, and I need you to go and roll f four more d6, because it didn't double your sneak attack. Ah, I did not know that it rolled my sneak attack. I thought we put that separately. Um, we'll do that. Okay, so we'll actually take, we'll just take the crit on the yeah. sneak attack, yeah. just for ease. So 74 total of piercing damage as you stab this piton. Yeah, um, and that's an athletic check. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make everything a nickname. Uh, uh, let's go. And this is going to be at a minus four. Okay, yep. 51 minus four. Break it off. Super Sex. easy. Oh, uh, we got a question in chat. Any deb any debilitations on that sneak attack? Oh, <laughs> funny you should ask. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Thank you. Thought you were uh, going to say no. <laughs> no. Um, no. Liquid, you got my back. I appreciate you. Shout out. Heck yeah. Um, Liquid! <laughs> all right. I mean, we got some to choose from, y'all. Like, let's, what do we want to do <laughs> today? Um, Kill it. We'll, yeah, well, you know, we don't care about the speed right now. It's not moving too much. Um, but I think this guy can do with a little enfeebled. Um, so let's make him an enfeebled one. Um, and um, let's just let's just take some some three d six persistent bleed damage as well. So this is when, as a GM, you know you're about to piss your players off. Oh god. Yeah. Does it have uh, it really thick blood? It, it is immune to both enfeebled and persistent damage. Sweet. Ooh. Yep. Like we said, no debilitations. It's no fine. Debil yeah. it's fine. Yeah. I'm like, Stand oh yeah, question. sweet. Crit. A single tier. <laughs> what? No, Does uh, but three gen? I do think, based on your uh, crit from your short sword and the fact that oh. you are like weapon specialized in it, it is now flat-footed until the start of your next turn against everyone, period. Yes. Enjoy, That folks. surely will matter. <laughs> it might. Listen, it, we just got to Everything go with counts. It. Yeah, everything. Right. We're going to die. It has two pitons snapped off in it. It is flat-footed against everyone. It is. It lets out a shriek that looks like it hurts. After two attacks, you guys can tell that its resistances don't seem to be working against uh, the pitons. Yeah. Pities. Uh, guys, guys, just call it pities. Big old Big pities. Pities. I hate it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thanks, I hate it. Ripple, the hater, is up. Okay. Ripple, the yeah, hater. Yeah, stop hating on stuff. Okay. Come on. Um, let me ask you a question. It's my job. Are these two ask away. adjacent to each other? They definitely uh are. They are. Okay, great. Yep. Uh, let so, me interrupt you real quick, though, because which, I'm, a bad, which I'm, a, I'm a bad GM to new players. Yes. Uh, when when you cast... This was Spiritual Guardian, right? This Your was Spiritual Guardian. butterflies? Yeah. When you cast that, you get to make a strike immediately. Oh, and I didn't? No. Okay, so let's, well... Let's resolve I, that. For I sure. had rolled one just in case that okay. was the okay. case. Uh, knowing that we might find ourselves here one day. <laughs> uh, so I rolled a 47 to hit. <laughs> Okay. A 47 does, in fact, hit the tree right there. Okay, so it takes 42 force damage as Starfall just force. peppers the back of this thing. Like, pew, pew, pew. Also, did you make a reflex save? Because they are, it is a creature. Uh, I didn't. 
I didn't do Wait, that. What do you mean? Uh, like a reflex no, the from, reflex from my from meteor. The oh, from the meteor. No, they don't. They don't take damage like that. They only take oh. damage. Spiritual guardians, I believe, only take damage when they are taking the protect action to protect Perfect. somebody else. Uh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is great. Great for us in this particular case, should they ever be close enough to someone to protect. Um, so yeah, so that's what happened before. Um, yes. I will Na be using, Nalo turned. I believe I will be using one action to sustain the babies. Yes. Uh, which now, I think gives you another attack. Okay, great. Love that. So just for existing every round, they get an attack, right? Yep. Is you can, you can move it. Yeah, you can move it to an unoccupied space next to a target within range, which is 120 feet, plenty of, All so right. you can move it wherever you want, basically. So that's a 45 to hit? A 45 does not hit. Okay, cool. So they, 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 they flutter lovingly at the, at the rear of this <laughs> tree razor. Um, okay. So then I need to get within 30 feet of these bad boys which I believe would be another action. How how close? Oh, I'm already within 30 feet. Who cares? Ooh. Okay. Um so I will uh cast a three uh no, a two action as one. So I have a I have a feat that allows me to treat heals as one level down of the amount of actions. Um, so I'll still have one left over. I don't know what I'll use it for. Maybe I'll just, you know, sigh lovingly. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to use the one that allows me to hit one and heal someone adjacent. And I will do that for 102 uh, hit points. Goodness. He High level healers are OP. All right. So you yeah. you heal Grout for 102 and yeah. it, it bounces to Carrillo for 102? Yeah. So basically what, yeah, what happens is she begins pulsating her giant wings and like a warm wind just soars across and as this happens they are just peppered with like good good positive vibes and they just feel better like about a hundred hit points better thank you very much yeah a hundred hit points of positive vibes yeah i, I knew she could do vibe. that so that's <laughs> why there was that that all that fire so we're good um yeah Cool, and okay. that, I believe that's my turn because I don't think I have anything that I could do for just. Could I use my last action to have my butterflies take another attack? I don't think so. It's kind of okay. like spiritual strike. weapon, and the fact that you, yeah, you sustain it, you get that attack, get to move it, but it's okay. What it's a not time like to be alive. A... That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a minion or something. Yeah, I guess I could do one of those cool like. Uh... Front flips. <laughs> totally um, That'd be pretty awesome. I guess I could do like a blade wall between okay. them, so they're just cut up. Well, That's no, you weird. you can only do a move or a strike with a haste. Oh, okay. No, but I I still have that, one left that. over because oh, I oh, use one action, action to heal, one to sustain, and I haven't. Yeah, moved. I, for yeah I forgot you had the OP heal. Yeah, yeah, it's it's stupid. It's stupid how OP it is. I love it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it says the wall deals 78 force damage to each creature that's in the wall's space when it's created. Um, and it's like 20 feet high and 120 feet long. Uh, so I could technically, I guess, like protect us on this side by plate. Like if I placed it not so much here as like right here, right? If I placed it here, that would mean these guys couldn't just charge us. Is that useful? You guys would then have to jump or fly 20 feet into the air to get back though. Easy. Easy? Oh, only 20 feet in the air? At least make it a little harder for us. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just, uh, she like flies down and dips a proboscis into the water and from the water will extend upward blades of force in a churning wall that stirs like the water is like white with being wavied around that's the technical turn wavy around yeah wavied. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 um is this sustained yeah it just lasts for one minute uh damage to each creature in the wall's space when it's created so I guess let's put it creatively down. <laughs> oh, 
let's put it creatively this this way, like across the center of them, but not in the same space as friends, right? Okay. So it doesn't, it, it's like just 120 feet. So I guess I could just do this and then this, or does it have to be straight? Can you I think it has to be it? straight because it's a wall. Listen, that's just, walls that's just bend all the time. Have you ever <laughs> seen a city? <laughs> um, I could easily build a wall. Oh that my thing. God. Yeah. Have you uh, seen a city, Waffles? Have you seen a city before? <laughs> God! Um, sorry, I didn't mean to get so defensive. Uh, okay, cool. So I guess it doesn't exactly do what we want, but it could separate the two of them. So yeah, we'll go with this white line here. We don't um, want to separate them. We don't. Well, but they can still hit each other. They're just taking yeah, yeah. damage from the wall while they're doing it. What a time yeah, to be alive. Yeah. It's I don't just, care about no wall. Uh, we be... also... We also have yeah. from chat real quick that you can sustain that spell multiple times. Uh, it would, we, so we can go back if you really want to. I will tell you as a GM, it would take a multiple attack penalty, which it would be like a minus five to hit. And I don't oh. know if you would Let's even have a chance. Back. Let's just go back. I'm sorry to make us have gone through this, but we all learned something. <laughs> no, that's I think you can agree. Uh, and I'll just like you know, sit back and, and relax on that final, <laughs> that final action. I guess I could do a mini single action heal on myself. That just doesn't seem worth it. And if you ever Because I haven't taken hip, hip damage. Are curious. Yes. Walls can be curved. All right. We learned something okay. today. Okay. Good. Cur Please Walls go on curved. with your lives. We can quit the stream <laughs> now. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give me that. Give me that guardian attack, though. That's that's your. That's oh, that yeah. I action. should do that. I will do that. Here I go. Uh, By the way, I think your uh, things are hidden to the GM. We don't see it. She's oh. rolling. I'm rolling oh. in the, uh, I'm using the hero, hero, oh, yeah. uh, lab roller. Heck yes. Um, She's not, using the cool hashtag stuff. Hashtag not cheeks. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. That's 17 Hacks. plus 29, uh, is 46. minus five. 40 minus five. Um, 17 plus 20. Of... Yeah. 46 40, minus five. So 41. 41, 41 misses. Okay. These butterflies lash out, try to hit the tree right so in the So lash back. out. They're so they're so strong. <laughs> hatefully, the butterflies hatefully, hatefully lash out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think that's hate. that's enough uh, ripple for now. For this All right. Turn. Okay. What's gonna happen here? Is it's the tree raiser's turn? These attacks have been going. You've been hearing the terrest roar every time the terrest roars. It shakes the ground. The tree raiser as been attacking away. You guys have heard this thunder rolling. A storm culminates above all of you. And you watch as one lightning bolt strikes down, hits the ground very close to you, hits the water and electrocutes you all. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> hits the ground I'm very flying. close to you. And you watch a crack begin to form in the ground. I'll reveal that part of the map real quick. Oh, oh crap. my god. What is oh. that? Oh no, my oh. butterflies. <laughs> and that's Clear where we're going to take a quick there. break. Wait, <laughs> I hate this. Ah, what? The cliffhanger. What is that? The tree razor is dead. We killed it. Oh yeah. my god. A literal <laughs> cliffy. <laughs> that's a good one, and literal cliffhanger. All right. All right. Literal cliffhanger. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, first of all, also look at that sexy map again. Take two. I love yeah, it. Seriously. Um, okay. We're going to do a brief, brief intermission, uh, on that literal cliffhanger. We'll just, we're going to refresh our drinks. We'll be right back. Stick around, um, to pray, pray to any God we can think of. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Don't pray make for it us. <laughs> yes. Hydrate. All right. Hydrate. Let the dogs out. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. All right. We'll be right back. Uh, see you on the other side.
We're back. We're back. Bye. We're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> um, Are you? I am you kind of us? living for the bouncy music, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, that's that's a shout out. I forgot. Music on stream is brought to you by Sirenscape. Heck yeah. There you go. Done. Yeah, boy. The best music. <laughs> Your boy. Your boy. <laughs> Your boy Sirenscape. <laughs> All right. All right. It's Tree Razor's turn. We're gonna get right back into it, Let's real quick. It. It's Tree Razor's birthday. No, no, it's oh, no. your birthday. <laughs> Do I get a hero point? Falls down into birthday? a chasm. Oh no! My God. Well, yeah, you need it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You get a hero point, hero waffles. waffles. Oh, perfect! I love it. <laughs> uh, all right, tree razor. You guys, everyone, make me a perception check real quick. Uh, I can leave that. Yet. I cannot do that. Wow, apparently That's not. That's a really bad perception. Thirty-eight. Perception. Yeah. Perception. I rolled all of our dog. eyes go out. Wait, why? What did you get? These are great questions. Fraga. <laughs> Perception's Perf not in your skills, just as a heads up. Oh, thank yeah. God. Okay, <laughs> I was like, am I crazy? I know it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I don't have, I don't perceive. I perceive it's a, nothing. It's its I own can't. thing because it's like, it's all right, 44. a lot of different skills. Okay, 44. All right, you noticed the tree razor at the start of its turn, beginning to like store some more energy from uh -huh. the environment around it. And you get the sense it's, it's probably, it's probably gonna do that, the thing it did at the beginning of the battle. Okay. okay. Uh, not this turn though, so it doesn't, uh, but it, but it's storing. Let's, let's pretend like it has a 1d4 recharge on it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but Here instead with this crack appearing up, appearing right above it or below it my bad it will have to spend its first action to fly and fly it will. this dude's got wings it does it's got wings so it, is it, it flies there yep it flies over lands right there and seeing the tarasque being hurt it's gonna take two attacks at the tarasque mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's wise. <laughs> and it's axe pings twice off a natural four and a natural ten with the multiple <laughs> attack penalty. Oh my god. And misses oh. the terrestre both times. Well, he forgot to calculate that the terrestre isn't a tree, so how is he <laughs> going to kill him? I mean, that's, that's true. That's a valid question. That That is a valid question. All right. Terrestre turn. Uh, the Tress is going to do one of my favorite abilities in the entire game for big creatures. Mm -hmm. It's going to run up to three times the speed with the people on its back who don't take oh, this no. damage. Oh, no. And it's going to run over the Tree Razor. Ah, ah. going to run over little guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. oh yeah, this move. And it's oh, going to run over like the frog. That. Wait! <laughs> no. no. It doesn't please. have to be in a straight line. Heck nah. Hot damn. It can do I... the huge or smaller people. When the terrasque tramples, it strides up to triple its speed. That's it. My Butterfly goodness. smoosh. Um, and I need reflex saving throws from everyone that got hit by that. We're safe, Crow. Okay. <laughs> I'm wow a two. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna spend a hero point on that. My first hero point. Oh no no. Uh, for for I'm gonna use my reaction for uh, for whatever. I thought you already did that. Foresight? Foresight. It's it's a reaction. It's as long as I have foresight. Oh, you just get to keep doing it. OP. It's a ninth level spell. OP. Yeah. I yeah. like it. I also have foresight and will be rerolling my two. Uh, and I have two now gang. got a 42. 44. All right. Those are both natural fails. Not crit Oof. fails. Okay. It'll okay. Take the claw damage. Uh, speaking of crit fails, that's what the tree razor did with the natural one. Whoa. Okay, so you guys take forty-one damage. Jeez. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, forty-one minus seven is thirty-three damage. Uh, 
should be slashing if it matters as the claws kind of rake over you. And the tree razor takes 82. All right. Ow. How's the tree it, razor? It lets you? out a demonic shriek. Uh, the tree laser is not, not looking super hurt, but it's hurt for I sure. I was really hoping not looking super great was the next no, word. Not, <laughs> yeah, that that it's was what he said. Great. He mispronounced it. <laughs> oh, got it. Uh, but that's it. What you guys do see this crack appearing again? Obviously, uh, it. You guys see the red glow, seeming to rise from it. Uh, the storm's still overhead. Et cetera, et cetera. Grab. Now's a good time to point out I am 20 feet off the ground. <laughs> for when the lava comes for me. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, don't love this, this situation that we find ourselves in. Nah. All right, Grout. What oh, you doing? All right. Uh... I'm gonna use my hasted action to try and strike this thing. Gonna try and it is still you know, stick flat another footed, I believe. Item. Yes. Right. Yep. Until the start of your turn, it is flat-footed. Um, I say we get like what, like four pythons in, and then move on to tree razor because I don't think we can. Did they specify get all eight? In. It's pronounced piton. No, it just it just oh, adjusts the DC. Yeah, they didn't specify okay. at all. And you can do all eight. You can do four in each. You can do I, two and try. Like, does the ritual target only one creature? Uh, no. Okay, cool. It will attempt to seal them together in an eternal battle if they're both alive. The tree razor can, however, die. The terrestre cannot. Basically, you were told that if the terrestre dies, it will eventually rise back up and be alive. Makes sense. Okay. Um. All right, so I'm going for the Python Strike. That's a 45 with flat-footed. A 45 with flat-footed on the Tarrasque. Check it and see. <laughs> is a miss. Oh, seriously? What? Yeah. It's very close. Oh, yeah, I think it's okay, 26. Waffles. Now I have thing. $3 it's, it's with your a, name AC on it. AC 48, so flat-footed is AC me? 46, That's... yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm doing my second strike. For a 32. Wah. Okay. Hits. Bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, hold on. I need to breathe deep and make my third strike. <gasps> Try oh, hitting it, girl one. That's a All 91. Right. No. Uh, hold on, hold okay. on. I gotta make sure. No. He's flat footed, you so that's hardly a nat one. Well, it's still a nat one. There's it no doesn't way. have anything. Man, I hate it. I like. <laughs> I really want every creature in Pathfinder 2 to be like, if you crit fail, this happens. But the Tarrasque doesn't have anything. Right. Now I'm about to drop a quick nat 20 here with my fourth action. Oh. That's a 42. Wow. Oh, wait, no. That was a good roll, but it did not. That's a good yeah, roll. That, that would have hit if it was your first roll. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're welcome. Yeah, that's all four of my attacks. Rip. Just these see. scales, they're just moving. I, ah, yeah, you, that's not fair. You see Grout up there, a little slower with the pitons. He used to swing in a sword. Scales just <laughs> moving. Block, block. Right. Why didn't they give us magic katanas? <laughs> Cherry Sprite, your turn. I need you to do something. And I'm going to stab the tree razor with a giant cold iron spike from below. As I do impaling strike, because uh, okay. it is a demon, so I'm assuming this will suck for it. I like that we were like, uh, okay, y'all, tree razor, like pythons on this, and then the yeah. tree razor. Let's all go together. <laughs> that I mean, makes we sense. don't have uh, we don't no, have no, 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 no. Really. It makes perfect yeah. sense, but I like how we thought that we could possibly actually have a plan. <laughs> It'll be it's, fine. It's it's uh. Yeah, it's it's a saving throw, not a Whoa. not an actual attack. I don't know why it's set up as an attack. That's uh, not it. But yeah, it failed. <laughs> oh, it failed? Did it critically Normal. Normal fail? fail? No, I didn't. Oh. Get out here. Sad. Sad right. day. So it takes thirty-three points of cold iron damage, um, okay. and uh, if it's standing on solid ground, which you said it was, 
It is Enough. immobilized, and it has to make an escape attempt to get out. So a cold iron spike rises up and stabs through its, like, leg, pinning it to the ground. As I go, that should at least keep it from running. <laughs> like I'm about to do. Goodbye. And I <laughs> slide on over here. You just hear, and... I can't heal you if you're, you know what? It's fine. Do you? <laughs> it's fine. As I draw out a healing potion. Perfect. <laughs> Love that for you. <laughs> Can I drink it? No, I have to pull it out and drink it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, All that's right. me. That's, that's you. why you're... So you just got to have one of those like beer hats, but with potions. You don't need to use an action to draw it out. <laughs> just a constant I, I about have <laughs> an intelligence thing, so it's it's kind of taking up my head slot. We should have just asked those gods for a million potions. <laughs> I true. have a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> They're cheap. I, I didn't bring any because I wanted to live on the edge. <laughs> um, and now here we are. Go stand edge. over by this crack. You can yeah, no, I'm good. Edge. I'm good where I am. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Cool. All right, Carilla. Yes. Okay. Um. So, I suppose it's still flat-footed to me currently, um, because of to you, yes. lovely grout. Does it help you grout if yeah, they're flat-footed? Um. Yeah. I mean, aside from like 60. just the okay, nothing special okay. though. Oh no. <laughs> Actually, yeah, not I cool. might get it. Maybe, maybe. Give, maybe. Gives him a better chance to hit. For sure. Um, Alright, well, we're just gonna... Do it again? <laughs> st stand in the banging, the two the two physical people here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, let's get that last pity in. <laughs> <laughs> Big ol' pity. Uh, nope, that's a that 37. That's a, that's a natural 2 for a 37. We're letting the team down. Oh, uh, we oh, got animal. this. Uh, let's do a second attack. Uh, That's a forty. No. God, yeah. That's a natural <laughs> nine. Um, I am just at this point, like my you wings zero points. are spread. I am like balancing on the back of this mountain, and I have this pity in my hand, and I'm just like stabbing it down both hands over and over again. It's just not working, but I'm just gonna keep going. Um. So that was at uh, minus four. So this is going to be my third, 37, and then my fourth for haste at a maximum of, it's still a minus eight, right? Yep. Nope. Oof. You didn't roll over a natural 10 on four rolls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm away. <laughs> Oof. That's all I got to say. Ripple. I did good this okay. time. Real good. Uh, does it help? Did did they say if it helped us weaken them if they take just normal damage from us? Yeah. Yep. Like, okay. Every yeah. every so hundred it hel health it's down okay. is less decent. Well, I have a lot uh, that I'm offended by, she says. <laughs> uh, and as she does, it's like, because all of her temporary hit points are gone, she's still under her her spell of, of uh, divine, uh, whatever it was, some some divine stuff that you cast earlier. Uh, but it's kind of like the the spectral butterfly is like phasing in and out between the frog, uh, like a blinking screen almost. Awesome. Uh, and she reaches out to the left and the butterflies appear now uh, with her sustain, like right next to her. Um, and she says, uh, you have terrible batters, sir. And she boops him on the nose. Uh, <laughs> and I will roll to hit with a harm spell. Uh, Do okay, it. so does a 48 hit? Yes. Yeah! I'm also, I'm Baby! also fairly certain harm... Harm, yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm also fairly certain harm doesn't have an attack roll, but we can count oh. that for your. We, okay, great. Sorry, I got excited. I was just doing the same thing. Let's see, harm. That, that, that can be your butterfly attack though, which should yeah, yeah, yeah. attack every time you move it. Which which is great. Um, and it will. Uh, it says, let's see. Harm's four to four DC. 
Oh, a fort DC. This is terrible. This is a terrible idea. Well, let's butterfly it up, first of all. Um, and that's going to be 3d8. Let me just roll it from here. 3d8. Boom. Plus 20. Or, yeah, yeah, okay, great. Roll. Okay, so that's 51, damn, damn. <laughs> I rolled two eights and a six. Okay, uh, okay. 51 Sick. butterfly, damn, damn, as it just peppers this thing in its face. Um, you know, harm isn't the greatest thing in the world. I guess maybe I should heal myself, right? Like, who am I to not be healed? Are either of you still <laughs> ailing up there? Do you look hurt? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm at full health, I think. I yeah, I will tell you if it affects your decision at all. Uh -huh. but you would know that yeah. if you cast a spell within this thing's range, it's oh, definitely yeah. gonna attack you. Well, yes. I don't, I don't want that. So instead, I guess I. So what? I've moved them, and they've attacked, and that's one. Uh, what do I need to do to like disengage from this creature? Uh, so Did the that... only, the only action in Pathfinder is a step. A I'm five foot sure. step. No, yeah, there's no like full withdraw or anything, okay. so you get, you get a five foot step. It's a whole move action. <laughs> yeah, but I that do, only I just puts you five foot away if it has reach. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Okay, so I could use the second two pieces of my thing to take take two five foot steps. Mm -hmm. yep. Or no? Do you have any yeah. feats that say that you you don't get attacks of opportunity or anything like that? Uh, I wish that I did, <laughs> um, but I don't. In, in a quick review, to sum up, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got magic hands. I've got no cause for alarm. I've even got quick jump, but no. Um, so I got hands. Yeah, what she's gonna do actually is instead of moving back this way, she'll fly up into the air five feet and then back like on a diagonal five feet into the air with her fly speed. So she would be what ten feet in the air at that point. Must be nice. <laughs> yes. Ten, yeah. 10 feet in the air. Okay, great. I did it. Okay. All right. I took a turn. What a what a miracle. Okay. <laughs> cool. I I think you have one more action if you want to use it. It's a heads up. Oh, shy. Uh, okay. I will Cause, also. Because you are hasted, right? Everyone's hasted. I am hasted. Yeah. I am. So, so you move this thing, left? move twice, and you have one more action that can be used for a strike. Or okay. Or I yeah. could just yeah. touch my. I could just go bless bless your hearts uh, and <laughs> and heal myself. Just a little well, bit. Well, you did. Yeah. No, it's fine. I can she, because she could have she could have used her haste action to right. earlier. Yeah, because yeah, also I, I can cast a heal on myself for for one. Um, one action. Okay. One action. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and you know I'll do a level. We'll call it a level three heal on myself. Okay. Um, for three d ten. And that gives me let's just let's just everybody just pray a little bit to yourselves. Pray for meth. Yeah, about math. Uh okay. Pray for meth. Not meth. No no. Oh, math. Math, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's <laughs> Sorry, the way. I'm, from, I'm in Florida. Pray for the <laughs> okay. pray for the myth of healing. And I, I heal myself to full for fifty 50 cool. HP. So she grabs her uh, holy symbol and the uh, the butterfly image sustains and fortifies around her as she heals herself. Nice. nice. Okay. That's it. All right. It's I did it. The tree raises turn. Look out, trees. Get him, Ripple. Here he comes. Is what chat First of all, <laughs> the map's going to change a little bit. Stop it. Uh, oh, oh my god. No, that's good. That's good for us. Is it? Is it? Everybody can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Carrillo, no! The shade. <laughs> the shade. Guys, just get in the water. The lava can't get you there. The lava begins to rise up, uh, as well as lightning bolts begin to strike down. Uh, I need everybody to roll me a reflex saving throw. <laughs> no! Lightning, no. 21. If I succeed, that's a crit success. Natural 20! Nice. Not a natural 20. It's Ooh. still the same amount Hi. of kick. I'm going to go ahead and get out of again. here. 36. Okay. Oh, wait. This is an area effect? 
Uh, yeah. Okay, so 38. Okay. We have Grout failing by one. Loser. Uh, Gripply failing, and then Lark critical succeeding and Karilla succeeding, succeeding, but with... Yeah, with evasion critical. I am in the air, though. Does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> Not from a lightning bolt, okay, unfortunately. Okay, cool, cool. Just making sure. Lightning comes <laughs> from the air. Yeah, you're right. I mean, no, it's worse here. I hate it. Gr <laughs> Grout, can you, like, flip the other one into the lava? <laughs> of course! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Just checking! <laughs> Okay, oh uh, both God. of you take 27 damage. Oof. Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's fine. That's all right. When you can literally be struck by lightning and be fine. That's baby damage. Yeah. <laughs> baby. That's just nature. We fight gods. All right, how, sorry, how much damage. damage was it again? 27. 27. Okay, I did it. I did the math, guys. <laughs> what might not be baby damage, though. This oh, no. tree razor. Pulses green energy out again nope. because it recharged. I dodge. Okay. <laughs> Hit me with that dodge in the form of a... I think it's a fortitude saving throw. Yep. That's what you said uh -oh. last time. I need a fortitude saving throw from the Frago. No, why? You're not going to take the super crappy damage, but it Ugh. it reaches you this time. So from yeah. the Frago, the Carrillo, and the Grout. <laughs> Didn't oh. one of you save from, like, the effect? Yep. God. The, that like was the Frago. Points. Oh. But right. it still oh. hurts, it just takes less damage. 33. Gotcha. Man, I'm rolling like buttholes. Uh, 44, and I don't know Crap. if it's good enough. Crap, remember, five very, resist though. damage. Not me. Five resist, yeah. Um, Sorry, 34. I, I doubt it'll make a difference. I, I, I'm just going to sit with the 39. I know I failed. All right. This is the one ability that's destroying you. Uh, 33 is a critical, or 34 is a critical fail. 44 is a fail. Mm. 39 is a fail. No! Oh! 44 is a fail. You all take oh. 94 negative damage. 94? <laughs> yeah. 20 D8. Oh, no! You, you, took, you took 20 D8 because you critically failed, so you took twice. I did. So you, Wait. you you took ten you took yeah. ten D eight twice. Yeah, you rolled a thirty four. You're right. I did. I was like, me? Well, how dare? The math got made Wait, easy how for dare you. you. What's a regular? I didn't fail? roll a minus one. <laughs> a regular fail for plant creatures is also a twenty D eight. Oh. I'm down to my. Oh wait, could I have my my creatures take fifty of that for me? I don't think so. I I Let's look yeah, it up. Okay. I, I, I think, think you had to move it. It says. Yeah, the guardian the Guardian uses, uh, blah, 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 blah. Alternatively, when, alternatively, when you sustain the spell, you can have the Guardian move adjacent to an ally. And okay, so I ally. would have had to say protect instead of make the yeah. attack. Got it, got it, got it. Learning here. What a time to be alive. We are <laughs> okay. learning. All right. That does a lot of damage. We see a lot of degradation That's crawl over all of your skins. Damage. That's a Ouch. lot of damage. But that's the Tree Razor's turn. Now it's the Tarras turn. Oh, goody. Uh, Ripple, Ripple's just like, it's going to get stronger? Like, what's the camera? It was like a hunt, just an easy 100 HP from a bunch of people. The Tarrasque also took a little bit of damage from that. Uh, That's nice. Tarrasque looking about half good now with some pitons in it. Easy. Is, goes into a blind rage for this round, is what I'm going to call it. This is... This is the fun stuff. All right, I'll read this for y'all that don't know what the Tarras can do. Three actions, destructive frenzy. Tarras makes a jaw strike, two claw strikes, two horn strikes, and one tail strike in any order. <laughs> Holy. Well, Please. something's about to die. Well, we get to find out which. And it can just do that? Or like, is this- It's all three actions, move? but yeah, it can. it just does it. It can just it, like, you know, do that? <laughs> it also doesn't take In multiple attack penalties, so. 30 foot emanation. At least I don't. It doesn't say it takes multiple attack penalties like normal, which is what they usually say in Pathfinder 2e, so. Ooh. That's what I'm gonna go with. Here we go. Okay. TPK. 
jaw attack and horn attack on the tree razor. Oh, okay. Okay. Because those Aww. can't reach anyone else. Oh. I thought you were being a wimp. <laughs> no, they just can't. They literally can't hit anyone else. And this okay, is why we have to do take multiple wall attack penalties. <laughs> All right. I'm going to switch that up a little then if they do take multiple attack penalties. The tail attack, it whips around with a tail. First attack comes out at the frog. <laughs> oh, shit. No, please. Oh, no. Oh, oh shit. no. Oh, shit. I got you. You know, when the healer goes down first. No! <laughs> Is this a natural Rip, 20? Ripple ain't going down. I got this. this. Is a I got natural this. 20 for Can I use a, my hero lot. point to make oh. you reroll, Mr. Birthday Boy? No. Oh. <laughs> no, uh. because it's my birthday and I deserve no. this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Uh. All right. Uh, yeah. Natural 20 for a lot. You take 84 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> okay, it's Are fine. you unconscious? I'm not. All of the insides are outsides. Uh, what I will say is, on a scale of 1 to 222, I'm feeling like, uh, I don't know, a 17. Oh! Ooh. Good. Finish yeah. her off, Waffles. Do it. That's dangerous. Well, thankfully, that's the only attack that can reach you from you moving so yeah. far back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The horn. That's, that's saved. Uh, actually, one of the claws lashes out at Carrillo. Can it re- Okay. Um, yeah, it's like- So- <laughs> I'm targeted by an attack, so we're gonna start with a nimble dodge uh, as my reaction. Okay. Um. What does that do for you? It's a plus two to my AC. I could also push it into a roll and move, but like, eh, don't need to. So yeah, we're gonna stay there. Okay, Claw is agile. Does a 49 hit your plus two AC? Yes. It does, but it's no longer a crit. Then it was probably good. Ooh. Yeah. Crit damage on that, looking though. at the 98 over here. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, instead, you'll take 56 damage. Okay. Second claw attack at a more significant minus. Yo, I'm rolling. Rocks. Natural 20, natural... I guess natural 10 is not a rock, but natural 14. On me again? Um, no, this one's at on um, Grout. Darn. At the minus eight attack penalty, natural 14. Grout does a 48 hit crit. Does not crit, but it hit. All right. <laughs> you take 45 slashing damage. Ah. Yeah, those are good freaking damage rolls. No, no. <gasps> seven, eight, seven, four, seven. I'm a little under half good. I'm a little under half good. And then the last rough. two attacks. Jaws and Horn go out at Tree Razor. Uh, the Jaws hit. The Horn does not. Tree Razor screams out in agony as a piece of its flesh is ripped off. And it's Grout's turn. Do we know if Tree Razor is like vulnerable to fire? Or like, I don't mean vulnerable, but can take fire? I believe so. to the it gods? can. I, I did it. You saw it take okay. fire damage. I think there but, has resistances all sorts, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you bypass a lot of resistances. Um, I, I don't want to hit it with my sword. I want to throw it into the lava. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> It'll be a slow death. Do it. I bet a lava, lava does deck. about as much as a magical fire spell. I I, ha I have the damage written down, and I'm not going to tell you the numbers, but that's my bet. Uh, after being instructed by Carrillo to attack the other thing, uh, Grant will look at the Tarrasque and whisper, I'll be back for you. <laughs> uh, and then we'll like just leap towards Tree Razor. Do I take an op attack as I do that? Uh, yeah, you do from the Tarrasque. All right. And I'll just roll an athletics check for the like 20 or 30 feet I'm going. 43. All right. This one's going to be, this one's going to be good real quick. We're going to get into some nitty gritty. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, is I've already used my reaction. Otherwise, I would help you. Sorry. That's it is a bite up attack. Well, it also is impaled, so it has to, but it should be able to beat my DC, so you're good. This is the Tarras taking the opportunity. Yeah. Yes. Oh. All right, let's go. Opportunity jaw attack. 
That one. My oh. thought. Uh oh. This is a 55 creature. Oh. Um. No. Yes. It does. <laughs> uh, but. I have adopted Ancestry, Dwarven, and Stone Bones, so I'm going to attempt a DC 17 flat trick. I'm built Ooh. different. Oh! Not crit anymore. <laughs> Good, that's gracious. Yes, that's a 19. That's amazing. The a first time you've there. ever done a good roll like that. Oh, wait, that reminds me. I have a Misty form for all the D20 waffles. Uh, no. Easy. no, I, I chose the top to the top four, so that misses. No, me. no, no. Get out of here. I'm the birthday boy. You get attack. No. Uh, it does, in fact, attack you. It does, in fact, get a free try to grab you. Free action grab. Where's my athletic skill? Here we go. That is a 58 against your fortitude DC. Yeah, that's a crit success. Yeah, crit success. All right. It that grabs you. And then... Since it has three reactions a turn, it spends its second reaction to swallow you immediately. Oh my oh. god. You can't use, you can't use the uh, multiple reactions against the same triggering effect. Unless that's a, the grab is the triggering effect. Ew. Huh? Well, you can only use one reaction against one thing, one trigger. Yeah, that's fine. I uh, use okay. an opportunity attack against him moving and then the grab a swallow. Gives a reaction. On the grab, okay. yeah. It, gotcha. Like once an opponent's grabbed with the. I tried, Blowhard, so I tried. <laughs> yeah, that's unlucky. I did give you a potion for just this. <laughs> I looked oh, up these rules for oh. you, too. Wait, did you? Oh, I thought no, you gave me I the gave that to you. You literally no. should have flipped yeah. your blessings like 100%. <laughs> oh, I don't boy. know the future. <laughs> we'll you take divination you specialty. Guys, I am uh, dead as hell. All right, that's pretty good. You also took that was a crit, right, for the jaw attack? No, it wasn't. no, it can't. It was just a normal because I. Used oh yeah, you're right. So you took 52 piercing damage from that. I, I'm you not looking. So oh, I am so dead. Holy crap! I'm at ADL. <laughs> okay, Ooh. listen. All right, waffles. I'm, not, I'm trying. Uh, uh, as a one. reminder, as a reminder, you are grabbed. You can click that condition. You're slowed one. And you are now holding your breath. Oh my god. And you can't. I'm holding. We can't see him, right? To be targeted? No, he's in a belly. Good, 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 good. Hey, I'm sure was... his AC is lower in there. Get some hits. Dude, yeah. I... Can you just put How's one more? How's holding your breath work again? Like, when I attack something, do I just start suffocating and die, or? Uh, you. It's something times your con, and then it is reduced when you attack. Um, we could definitely look that up. Yeah, let's get let's get into this real quick. I always like to look up the rules for death. You can hold your breath for a number of rounds equal to five plus your con mod. Not your score, your mod. Okay. Uh, reduce your remaining error by one at the end of each turns or by two if you attacked. You also lose one round worth of error each time you are critically hit or critically fail a save against a damaging effect. Yeah, sure. That doesn't count for this one. Okay. Uh, if you if you speak, you lose all your remaining air. If you run out of air, you fall unconscious. When you're unconscious, you need a, a DC 20 fortitude save at end of each of your turns. On a failure, you take 1d10 damage. On a critical failure, you die. Cool. Should okay. be a pretty easy to save for you. you. And my options to get out are try and like hack my way out, or like that's it, or what? Yeah, that's what I was trying to look up. Uh, the the terrestrial doesn't have a rupture value to it, so I'm gonna apply a random rupture value to it. <laughs> you can't. I feel I feel like it should. Maybe they didn't doesn't on purpose. Have a rupture value. <laughs> yeah, maybe they didn't on purpose. We're gonna it, call it. I just looked it up. It does. Really? Yeah. Well, my oh, character DMU. doesn't. Okay. But yes, basically you can do slashing, slashing or piercing. I think it acts like only slashing damage on the inside of it. Okay. Um, and I couldn't use my hasted action to do that jump, right? So I used one of my actual actions. Uh, jump some move action. Maybe? Question mark? 
Yes. No, you yes. can only. No, you can only. Sorry, I'm back in Starfinder brain thinking everything's a move action. You can only stride or strike, and jump yeah, is not a important. stride. So. Right. Okay, so I guess I will try and go for a two-handed power attack in that case. Uh. So that's gonna be two actions. Okay. Please, all good. A fifty. Ooh. Okay. With Thirty-five slashing damage. A fifty does hit. All right. All right. Okay. I, I need chat help here. I'm gonna ask chat for this because I don't have the capacity to look up all these rules. Rupture. Do you need to bypass it in one time, or can like is it one attack, one turn, or is it just do that amount of damage and you get out? Hmm. I remember we encountered this in our Time is Past um, campaign. It is interesting. From a single a attack. Spell. Single attacker spell. Okay. It's piercing and slashing. Whew. And does it also... I imagine it does damage to the creature, though. Like, no matter if you don't get out. Like, you're obviously yeah, damaging the creature. Yeah, it did the damage. Clear. Okay. Yeah. It hits you do 35 damage you cut into its stomach you don't cut out of its stomach oh gosh. do i get any feeling of if i was decently close-ish uh <laughs> you get you get a feeling that your critical damage was decently close-ish okay in that case <laughs> goodness, decently close-ish uh i'll tell uh, you yeah. off by one you, you rolled a 49 for critical damage it's rupture 50. okay then there's one thing i can do and, Die. Uh, <laughs> that is, hold my breath for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to wait until my next turn in which I'm going to make my final bid to live. Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you since you attacked, uh, it doesn't, like, you should just attack again. If you attack any during a turn, your breath is going down by two rounds. Yeah. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Okay. I'm so yeah. scared. Then, yeah, I guess I'll just make two well, more this might be the... Oh, no, one more. One more. Yeah, this might be the first time you get to kill Varso. Maybe. I've Maybe. killed Varso before. No, you haven't. Did you? <laughs> you started my campaign dead. That's a 40 against its stomach lining AC. That's a crit. <laughs> that's that's one thing I've never noticed is I don't like I, I call it flat footed, but I don't think there's a stomach lining AC. Right? Like, what the <laughs> frick? No, there isn't. Yeah. Was it just its normal AC? I mean, you could always yeah, take I, the I GM call so. to like say that it's more vulnerable from the inside. Oh, that's true. You can also skip a, a attempt to a escape attack to not, like, rupture. That's like, uh, it's, I think it's in that, like an athletics to crawl out of its throat or something. <laughs> I mean, I you're an athletics -y boy. Like, come on. <laughs> and is that, like, uh, how hard is that against this rupture, do you see? Uh, probably. Uh, probably yeah, the swallow. Be... Then it's too late, and I'm just going to do my thing for next turn, I guess. Okay. All right. I'll be looking all that up. Right. You would have to have an escape DC. It's you. I mean, it's your turn, Sprite. Oh, uh, me. I see, see him go down and go, uh, I should have given the potion to him. Whoops. And I'm going to cast uh, Eclipse Burst as I spend one action to nullify cold resistances. And uh, I cast Eclipse Burst, which is going to do cold and necrotic damage, which I hope damages both. I don't know if any are immune. Uh, it did. Oh, wait, here. Hold on. It is a uh, reflex saving throw. DC 40. Ah, oh, critical damage would be great. Uh, 38 uh, cold damage and 20 necrotic damage. Or you could crit fail and that'd be awesome. Okay, and this is against both creatures? Uh, yes. I'm positioning it to hit both. All right. Ah. So this is fortitude. Reflex, sorry. Reflex. Yeah. Got a 49 for the Tarrasque. Boo. And a 39 for the Tree Raven. Let's go. Ooh. 
So uh, one takes half, the other takes uh, full. Okay. That's Got them both. What's that damage? 38? Uh, 38, uh, 58 total. Because 38 okay. cold with 18 resistance ignored and 20 uh, necrotic if there's any okay. resistances. Uh, so okay. for that, uh, that was three actions to do that. And then for my hasted, I look longingly at my my healing potion and I'm just going to move over. No, I want to keep... I'm going to keep place. I'm just not going to do anything, I guess. So, yeah. That's okay. my turn. Everybody's not doing things. All right. You definitely hit them, though. They definitely Oh, I guess. No, I can't do that. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You definitely hit them. They definitely hurt. Let's, go. We're, we'll, let's call both of them, like, half bad. I Trilla. should probably try the thing soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, you may yep. want to get yeah, that, uh, that's that's that, that ritual going. Um, so there's a really fantastic question in chat that I just want addressed. <laughs> if the Tarask is sealed away, does Grout remain in its stomach? <laughs> I mean, I like you wanted to wrestle the biggest thing, you know? Yeah. Let's, Listen, let's try and see what go happens. Down, yeah. Guys. Now he'll forever be wrestling. It's great. That's what I was about to say. This might be Grout's, That's the like, best option. Dream. Yeah. yeah. Grout, if I know if, if I know Grout and Did I I'm... think I do after five minutes of conversation, yeah, yeah. I think he would. This love is it. how you want to go. Him. But if I'm there, yeah. I'm gonna die yeah. in like two minutes. There, it's like it's wrestle. like heaven for him. Yeah, wrestle on, Grout. Wrestle. On. And it's and it's way more rounds than one six second round against a dragon. <laughs> Yeah, That's you get to fight two elder god beings. I don't so think we should try to get him out. I, I think given this is proper time yeah. against the dragon. I think this, I think this is what he wants. Yeah. yeah. Three yeah. legends Please wrestling for eternity. Yeah. Rest in peace. You will be okay. a legend, or Grout. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. miss you. Yes. We'll it remember you. We'll tell okay. your story. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do um, is interesting is what i'm gonna do um so i'm on top of this tarask and let me see real quick here um yeah, yeah, yeah so i'm just going to run off of it away off of its back okay. i'm just gonna be like do, 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 and just go run away from it um you know glide to the ground i don't really Ow. care and keep going i do not take attacks of opportunity um ever with, not when I'm striding, which is why I didn't jump. OP. Um, uh -huh. And made up. I kind of just like run and like I slide into the sand to like the other mm -hmm. side of um, of Gripple. Gripple uh, yeah, I almost said Gripple. Ripple the Gripply. I mean, I get it's <laughs> Ripley, <laughs> Ripley's Ripley's believe it or <laughs> Let's switch those around. Um, all right, so I like slide into the sand and I just like kind of like grab you on the shoulders. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, we kind of need you to like heal. I'm not looking so good. And with the gloves that are on my hand, which are uh -huh. um, greater healers gloves. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to heal you so Ooh, you can heal that. us. <laughs> yes. Um, so that love was that. one action. That was my haste. Let's say that's my haste to run over here. Um, and that is going to be 4d6 plus Ooh. 15. Yeah. I'll take just, it. Let's just do that real quick. Um, that is, okay, 17 plus 15, okay. if you could do that. 32. Uh, yeah, 32. Thank you. 32. Okay. Uh, I hope that helps. And then, and then she just coughs up some blood onto the <laughs> um it's, and then I'm good from that immediate point I just like launch myself up into the air um uh -huh. and what I'm gonna do so that was two uh hasted action what first action let's say um I'm going to use fantastic leap with my weird like combination <laughs> oh sorry. that's my dog there's a car alarm. There's a car alarm. All right, she might keep barking. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, fantastic leap 
comboed with my wall jump to basically so i have so many jumping feats to the point that i can high and long and whatever you want in between um really easily i think with so fantastic leap is two actions so i can do a two action long jump to get over to the tarask um and up it i believe so tell me if that's that's one two actions right there i think um can i get back up it uh yeah basically how it worked just so we stay like relatively in the rules is you would one action long jump because you have quick jump Mm -hmm. you would do that like to its leg because it's all only horizontal and right. then you could high jump basically wall jump high jump off its leg and jump back up perfect um so given that um start from the bottom now you're here yeah but i think okay so the second one is going to be the fantastic leap which is a high jump and an attack in one go okay so that second like up and then attack um is going to be beautiful and so i'm back on top of it it's like okay i'm back uh is this considered uh, you're like a cricket <laughs> you know you were i thought you were gonna go with the flea analogy i prefer this <laughs> yeah i i just i thought about it for sure and then i decided not to um but so my question is um considering grout's inside do i still get my gang up flanking flat-footed lovely fun hmm. i will read to you gang up which is you and your allies harry an opponent in concert so as long as the enemy is both within your reach and your allies i don't think grout's harrying much though I, I'll say yeah, only because Grout hit. That's that's gonna be my call. If Grout doesn't hit inside its stomach, it, he's no longer hairy. Okay. And he's also so probably this dead. This turn, Grout hit. So. Yeah, an enemy is flat-footed against your melee attacks due to flanking as long as the enemy is within your ally's reach. Yeah. Like my my thought is like if Grout doesn't like I know he's kind of let's air quote in reach, but if Grout doesn't hit, then he's not. Is he really like he's not even providing anything? Yeah. So yeah. that's my thought. All good. Um, yeah, I think I think like Chad's saying, it does work raw, but I like respect your call. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we'll do that. And that attack's gonna be my uh other pity. Pity. <laughs> All right. Big old pity. So this is technically, that was a move. This is my second action. Okay, cool. There, <laughs> that was a natural too, and that sucked. So you know what? No. You got a hero point, right? I do, and I honestly, like, I just want to use it. So we're going to hero point the shiz. Use it, my <laughs> lose him. Hit it. Hit it. 42. Boo. Uh, man, you still haven't rolled over a natural 10? No, I have not. Can we, Great. like, okay. Solid. Come on, guys. Come on. Come, come on. on. Come on. Game face. <laughs> okay. Uh, Second attack. Oh, sorry. Second I skipped attack. you. Second attack. Ah! Wait. You already used, you already used all yeah, your you already. all right? Wait, was, I was hasted action you, to, get to, get to get to her. You won oh, the move. Oh, I forgot move. the action to heal. You're right. Yeah. You're right. yeah. My, bad. My bad. Action to heal, and then you yeah, jumped yeah. up this yeah, thing yeah. and attacked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Yeah. Healed Ripley. Ripley. Ripple. Ripley. Ripple. It's your turn. Ripple. Ripple. <laughs> it's me. I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm a whisper of an existing creature still. So uh, let me I'm ask you a question. I'm not looking great at all either. <laughs> uh, listen, I, and here's, I have, I have a couple of questions that I've prepared for the group here. Now, when you cast heal uh, at a three action heal, it, um, which for me would be two, uh, it says that you heal all living creatures. So yes. would that then include the yes. bad boys? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, well, yeah, we don't there's... want that. <laughs> no. Oh. I, and, and Pathfinder one, I know there's feats that like allow you. It's like selective healing. I don't know yeah. if yeah, there... you has those because I've I've never no. played like a high level cleric in Pathfinder okay. two. But all right. Well, that's right. very unfortunate. Is, but... 
If you don't um, have any of those, then it will heal all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we don't want that at all. Uh, because the dice I rolled for heal are not as good as last time, but still solid. Um, so unfortunately, I don't. I think I have to choose between healing myself or healing healing Carillo. our Strix friend. Yeah, because, okay, let me also ask you a question. Uh, another question I had about if I were to sus continue to sustain my guardian this round, could I have the guardians fly in and designate them to protect Grout inside of the Tarrasque? Oh, I like it, I like it. Yeah, I'll say yeah to that because it's I cool. I think that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. Yep. Probably so, not, yeah, butterflies going into probably the not how it works, but we're, we're going to say it works. Yeah. Like these Especially since they're butterflies, they just like yeah. fly down the terrasque. So, mouth. yeah, the, the terrasque roars and um, the wings begin to buffet and push the butterflies forward. And they just all turn into like star beams and shoot down the mouth. And then inside of this creature, you are suddenly surrounded by just a swarm of golden butter, golden and silver butterflies. Um, so that's my hasted Crap action. Screaming um, and flying at them. <laughs> well, that, that, that would unfortunately be a normal action. Haste oh, has that's to be stri a... stride okay. or strike. But... Cool, cool. Well, I'll I'll go ahead and use the hasted action to just back up a five foot step one more time <laughs> so I don't suffer the effects of a tail to the face. Um, unless this thing moves, which it absolutely could. But hey, who am I? So I'm going to fly. Uh, Oh, yeah, it's over here. Okay, great. So I make my five foot step. Um, oh, as my he's got butterflies action. in his stomach. So now, now he is, now they're 15. Credit feet. to Templar. That's what I was looking at. If this was a podcast episode, it would definitely be butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> you know, she goes, uh, Are you feeling nervous? Ha <laughs> ha, and just wipes blood <laughs> from under her nose. <laughs> um, and then she's going to go ahead and heal herself, I think, is the smart play right now, uh, for 91 HP. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Uh, and I don't think there's any way that I can get that to both of us, unfortunately, because we're not standing right next to each other. Let's see, you had the hasted um, action, you had the one action, two, and that's you still is just your second action, so you have one more after wait. this. Wait. Healing I, yourself okay. is one action, Hasted right? action was moving, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Then uh, the first of my regular actions was butterfly protection ball. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. The next one Healing was yourself. heal, and that's the other two. Healing I'm using yourself is two... one action. Oh, you're right! Oh yeah, my god, I can just... Healing. What a time to be alive! <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, I'm just really excited. Okay, so I can heal myself and then heal you, which will yep. in turn heal me. You can heal this. What a concept. me with one? With one. Yeah, because yeah. she has fast healing. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. the, the thing that makes her heal spells fast. We amazing. figured it out, everybody. I was like, the math, right. it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I'll just go ahead and roll another 10d10. For you, because you're 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 not feeling good, huh? Mm -mm. Right? That's mm -hmm. the that's the that's that's what I <laughs> heard on the wind. Um, yeah. Okay. But it's all so, like the, like, and it's weird because I'm not, I don't think I've been. Oh well, no, he did hit me now. Yeah, the gashing, bleeding yeah. wounds. Did they give it away? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> okay. Um, you are healed for seventy-seven hit points, and Ooh. I get an additional ten. So I heal myself Ooh. for hundred and one, and you get seventy. Yeah, cool. Ooh. 70. We did it. I We're love a part it of this. so much. Woo. Healing's OP. It's Everybody great. needs a cleric. I was like, yeah, I may not. I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play a cleric because I may not know what I'm doing, but I will be useful. <laughs> <laughs> not false at all. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Woo. Okay. Tree Razor's turn. Yeah. First thing happens. The map changes again. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot about the fucking map. Ah! All right, lava's rising. It's basically at the cusp, ready to spill over at this point. Not touching anyone yet. Not on the tree razor yet. I'm panicking. It is the tree razor's turn. The tree razor does not like what's going on here. It's starting to get hurt. It's getting hit by spills. It's not liking it. The tree razor 
automatically succeeds at getting out of the spike. Does it at least spend an action? It does, but as Yay, freedom of success. Movement. So as freedom of movement just breaks immobile. Oh, that's bullshit. I hate you. Yep. Uh, but it has to spin an action. It was, I read up, read up on it quite a bit, and I got a spin on action. All right. And then it is going to. I really just want to crit somebody because it would be nice. It's gonna you swing twice. You already did. <laughs> Syrup's right Not there. Tree raiser. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna swing twice at Corilla. With <laughs> oh. its axe. Hold on. So free action. I'm gonna turn invisible. Cried and back. I can just turn invisible. I believe. Free action. Yeah. Is that for is that the fade band? It is. I think it has to miss you. Oh, yes. Uh, then instead, <laughs> mm, this is I offer so you this other cool shit. <laughs> I can do. Um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't have true scene. Like if you go invisible, it's just like uh, I don't care. Yeah, 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 Apparently it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool. So real quick, <laughs> over here kind of, you know, down in the water. Is that deep water? Uh, no, not really. Like, you can probably stand in it. You keep going, it gets deeper and deeper, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do... It's starting is... to boil. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna airy step. Um, what that basically is... is a smoke bomb. <laughs> Sweet. So, I'm gonna smoke bomb myself... Um, actually, let me make sure I get the order of operations here right, because there's a lot to do. That high level play. Gotta love yeah. it. Yeah. So, create a blanket of fog. All creatures then are concealed. Great. Uh, concealment applies to the triggering effect, and it lasts for a minute. And then once I resolve, once we all resolve the triggering effect, I get to move. So we're going to do that. Okay. So I still attack. Yes. But, but yes, she's concealed. Too. That helps. It's a chance. Which it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was. Probably not. Okay. okay. No. Nope. It doesn't. Nope. Does not <laughs> help because I roll a 13 on the conceal check. Uh, does a 48 oh, hit? Also, it doesn't crit. have a true scene. Okay. Cool. Does not crit, but it hits. It hits. Okay. <sighs> you take. I'm going to add all these up so it. You don't have any resistances against acid, chaotic, or evil, do you? I do not. Okay. You take 48 and then 55 because you're a plant. 48 and 55? No, 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 no. 55. That extra seven you wouldn't take if you weren't a plant, but you're a plant. Be a plant. All right. Uh, yeah, you take that much slashing damage. 55 slashing damage from this axe clipping you. Still doesn't get a solid hit as you're airy stepping away. Okay, um, so I'm going to step. Will you allow me to step off its back? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. It still freaking reach me, huh? Eh. I mean, I'd, I'd allow you to step off its back, but it definitely yeah, can still I, reach you. <laughs> I was like real excited, and then I was like, well, then I'd be away from the concealment. Uh, which is really stupid, so we're just gonna stay. Just gonna stay. Okay. Uh, it'll take a second attack at you then. Do it. Roll concealment. D a 45 hits, right? It does. Uh, uh. Here, rolling rocks. 17 on concealment. You take another 44 plus 5, 49 damage. So Get rid of all that, that healing that just happened. Uh, and worse. Like, I'm worse off than I was before. <laughs> yeah. So, clutch. Clutch healing. Okay. I got, I got more where that came from. <laughs> Me. All right. It's the Tarras turn. What is the Tarras going to do here? Tommy. All right. The Tarras is going to... It sucks when, like, the Tarrasque isn't super smart. Like, it can't, like, position itself super well. Yeah, the Tarrasque is just going to do another lash out. I think it's, it's probably what it's mainly going to do, unless it doesn't need to. All right. Big destructive frenzy coming. Two claws at Carrillo. No. 
It wants the, it wants the no. tree razor. It's fine. Uh, the first hit, the second misses. The first might crit. Whoa. Whoa. It... Concealment still. Oh, you're right. Save yes! 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 No Good. way. I'm pretty sure 55 would have crit you. 55 would totally have crit me. Right. And oh. you missed, so I'm invisible. Okay, so it actually it takes the second claw at the tree razor then. Uh, also misses because I'm going to keep the same roll, but it does take that claw at tree razor. Woo, okay, invisible crickets on the back. It's going to take a jaw attack at the tree razor. Also a miss because these penalties are crazy. It's going to take a horn attack at the tree razor. Uh, natural funny if you... a shit ton of damage. Ooh. Tree razor yelps out like a puppy. Ouch! Oof! Ow! It's gonna be you in a second, Grant. Yeah, somebody else yelps out inside yeah. of the belly. Uh, it's gonna take a tail attack. Does a 40 hit you, Gripply? That's what I'm calling Wait, it. I'm far. I thought I was far enough away. Not from the uh, tail. But so, I'm sorry. I'm not complaining. I just, I'm in shock. Shock, I say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's its range? Uh, the doctor. Sorry, uh, it's so tail. I'm playing loosey goosey with range because we're not on a grid, but uh, it still 30 feet. Oh yeah, no, it's it hits me. <laughs> there's no there's no question here about that. Um, sorry, what was what is what was the attack? 40. 17 plus. Oh yeah, that'll hit me unfortunately. Okay. My AC is 35. Uh. Okay, you don't get crit. You take 39 bludgeoning damage from the till. Delicious. Easy. Sorry, how much damage? I'm sorry, I was making... <laughs> 39. 39. Bludgeoning. Got it. I receive it gladly. And then... I'm misclicking real quick. Hold on. My player, Carrick, helps me here. This is... This is... <laughs> Oofta. Okay. Being in this terrestrial belly... We got a lot of damage coming, Grout's way. No. How, much, how much HP you got left? 80. All right. Oh my God. Let's go with the 10d6 acid first. You're going to take much more than that on the bludgeoning. Is there... A th I feel like there's a fortitude save for this. Or do you just... I, I agree. I definitely... Like a really easy one, actually. <laughs> uh, I was reading the trash stat block. <laughs> I think... I mean, Swallow's pretty crazy, but I feel like... I no. Sense. No, you don't make a save. I don't make a save, I just... Oh, there's no. no save. There's no Oofta. save. This is oh, society. no. Uh, what do the Guardians right. do? They're going to take 10 damage off. Okay. Both instances, because they're very separate procs and they're not the nope. same? Darn. Acid damage. You take 36. Oh. Uh, Minus 10? God. Minus 10. You take 26. 26. How much HP you got left? Yeah, butterflies. Butterflies. 50 of that is removed. Uh, I can only remove 10, unfortunately, per attack. Oh, wait. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> I, got, I got excited. I'm sorry. I was like, wait, butterflies, has... butterflies. Yeah, okay. It has 50, it has 50 hit points, yeah. which Mine means it has... can do... Mine has 70 hit points because I leveled oh, it up when I cast it, but that's okay. Yeah. We understand that it only removed 10. But hey, we're just here to protect. All right. Unfortunately, this is a one-time thing. No. So. Only one attack for that. So you took 26. How, mu how much HP you got left over there? I got 54 <laughs> HP left. Oh, my God. 10d6 10 plus 12 coming. Let's do it. Okay, I think I... Well, Waffles is about to roll the best roll in freaking history. So. <laughs> yeah, all and sixes. Let's see it. Let's see it. What please, would be the average? Roll just garbage. Like, the average is like 40. Okay. <laughs> please roll really bad. 42. Oh. Ooh, exact average. That's impressive. Did it count that 12? 12 HP. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it should have. Yeah, that's average. <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering it if did. it counted the plus 12 because it looks it weird. It did. It counted right. it. So it's totally yeah, it did. Out here. Okay, you don't have a lot of HP left, but that's no. that's the end of everything. Okay, um, and now it's my turn. Yeah, do uh, something. Yeah, now it's your turn. So I'm I'm slowed. 
can I please, please, please have the slowed turn I lose be my hastened one? Because I'm hastened and slowed cancels it out. So it's like e equivalent exchange. It's not how That's it works. A... You're going to deny math, Carrie? <laughs> no. <laughs> then I uh, may... Yeah, I'll, I'll say. I'll say you can. That makes sense to me. I don't really care. Really? <laughs> okay. Pity on the die. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, ha haste is an action. Slow takes an action. It doesn't say it takes haste or the other one first, so who knows? Then I Yell at us in chat if it's right. Action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say this extra quick so I can't go back. Uh, I'm going to use all three of my actions in that case to use uh, Overwhelming Strike. Uh, my final super ultimate anime super move. And <laughs> so if this attack hits, that is... I need... Goodness gracious. I'm gonna I need to clarify something, Varso. To those that don't know Varso, he likes to name his attacks on Roll20. <laughs> I'm going to copy paste it. It's what says, my ultimate attack. Or no, my ultimate technique. Yunogu's know Rising Blade, Blazing Steel variant, served with your choice of fries or chips, tax not included. Oh my God. That is Goodness beautiful. Uh, All right. We and love you, Vice. So <laughs> if this hits, it's a crit and also adds a bunch of extra damage. Amazing. So I'm rolling right. my one attack. Do you, do you want to know the AC? It, is it 47? It's 46. 46, it's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. 39, I'm oh, here for that. the greens. <laughs> Can I give you- This is a sad day. I'm dead. <laughs> 43. How can y'all not roll over a 10? My players. Listen. Okay. It's hard. <laughs> I want this to work for you. All right. That's unlucky. That is unlucky. That is very unlucky. It's highly unlucky. Uh, <laughs> you slash out at it. That was three actions. Is there- Uh, yeah. And since I'm slowed, that's all. Is there anything that would give you some plus here? I don't. No. I mean, the only thing that would give it a plus, give him a plus, is if we had stuff reducing the Tarask AC. Yeah. Like, like debuffs and stuff. Uh, I, <laughs> there's one thing I can do. Um, so if I'm stunned, can I still take reactions? Because I am currently stunned one now after using my super move. I think so. Yeah. I, there's nothing in stun that says like you can't take reactions. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my reaction to use Desperate Finisher, um, and I can make one press action with that. And so that's going to be a combat grab, which is just a strike, and then I get a free grapple if it hits. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with that. If this crits, I might, like, get out. That's a match. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh. Let's pray. Existence Let's pray. is overwhelming pain. I am. <gasps> I'm so dead. Oh uh, well. Hey guys, it's what he wanted. It's what he wanted. To be immortalized. I would like. I would like to end text. my turn in shame. Resign my turn, actually. Uh, you do. I you resign. Your turn in shame. All right, Sprite, your turn. You guys know that it's getting towards the end. This crack is like exploding some lava. Some rituals probably got to begin soon, no matter if okay. your party's dying or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kill me. Uh, listen, uh, I'm worried. Mean... Yeah, I can only do so much. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, it's muted. Fix your my push here. talk wasn't working. Ah. Yeah, my push talk stopped working. Um, we did right. it. So I I will honor my uh, companions in death as I will be the sole survivor of this. Uh, as I lower myself to the earth and begin to cast the ritual to seal away the the three evils. Um, wait, the three. So what do I? <laughs> yeah. What? Grab. Yeah. Including grab. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. The three That's evils. Fair. So, okay. uh, is it just an arcana check? Arcana or occultism? 
Uh, the DC all, was 47. DC started at 47. It is missing 300 hit points and has two pitons in it. So it's DC 37. Okay, and that... Oh. And uh, that affects both of them, right? Yeah, when you activate it, it should affect both of them. All right. I roll a 37 naturally. Do I think Criticlean will do anything? Because I'm about to re-roll. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to re-roll that even though I succeeded. Natural one. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. <laughs> ah, only a 43. Okay, not a critical success. You have one point. Keep track of it. You basically start like casting How a magic and outline, mm -hmm. outlining a circle in front of you. Uh, the points are what basically they're going to attempt the resistance ritual. The, the more points you have, the less they can resist. Oh, and it's one action to do a ritual like to do the ritual. Yep. Eight. That's, yeah. that's why the arcane ritual is better uh, yeah. because it's not like chanting to the gods and stuff. So like you can do it up to three times on your turn. All right, I'm going to do it three times because I use my haste to move down and then three, boom, boom, boom. Yep. Uh, so again, oh. 47 crit okay. success. So that's two. Nice. Okay. All so right. That's so three that's points three. total. Uh, and a 40. So that's four, four points right. down. Four points total. As I just, yeah, I just start like doing all this sorts of arcane drawing in the sand. Like, all right, hopefully soon. And that's, guys have, that's my turn. You guys have spent multiple rounds here we weakening these creatures to make these checks easy. You got a crit success and two successes. Nice. Carilla. Ooh, okay. Um, so I'm invisible. Um, and we're okay. Um, I'm going to hasted action just um, move over to the tree razor. Okay. Um, um, and I hope I that they're flat-footed to me because I'm concealed. Uh, yeah. Do you have to roll like against perception DC or something like that? Like I forget exactly how that works. I don't know. For say for sake of time and getting okay. the rules as wrong as we ever have, I'm gonna say that you being gonna, invisible some, makes. Some... There's a lot of cool conditions. I'm gonna call it. Let's call it undetected. Yeah, and I I do have some uh extra things when I'm undetected it lowers their perception it's, it's lots of stuff all right yeah okay okay on this one I'm like fudge you know like I am not getting this into the Tarrasque we got what well, we got two in there I'm gonna count that as a win on the Tarrasque let's get these last especially because uh grout re rest in pieces uh so <laughs> let's do this um so over here on this side of things you're Still flat-footed to me, and that's all I care about. So, I have- I only put in one pit in the Tarrasque, so I have three more on me. Let's freaking go. One. Okay. One. 38. I swear, can I please roll better? Um, you know what? Who needs hero points to die? <laughs> It's Let's the final countdown. Let's re-roll it. We got this. 44. Uh, minus 4. 40 is a miss. Why minus 4? No, no, I re-rolled. Use it here. Point. No, no. Oh, re-rolled re it. Re-rolled it. That's a hit then. Whew. Okay. Oh. Eh, damage, but that's cool. It's flat footed AC. Uh, but nice. I do get sneak attack, so that's plus 14. Yep, so 35 total damage. Okay. Um, I believe... Hold on. Triple checking. I can do this. Your strike hits. Uh, oh, okay, cool. I will add debilitation to it um, because it hit. So we're going to do, what is this? Piercing? Yeah. All right, let's give it some weakness five to piercing. Okay. And mm -hmm. Um, do I, can I use a free knowledge check to see if this might, you know, not take persistent bleed? Uh, you can't do a free knowledge check. I thought that's a thing with well, Pathfinder. Well, didn't she already learn it, Kent? No, oh, that's Pathfinder's actually very specifically recall yeah. knowledge. 
All right, fine. Then let's just let's just um. They're here. Enfeebled one. It. Okay. It becomes enfeebled one. Cool. Sweet. All right. Second attack. A natural one. <laughs> no. <laughs> and okay. My. Guys, it was funny at first, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know now would be a great time. Ripple. Right. Yeah, I, I, I didn't warm up. <laughs> All right, last one. Forty-two. Uh, forty-two against flat-footed. And does does uh no misses. No. <laughs> Direct. Okay. Okay. But okay. What if I don't want it to miss? <laughs> uh, let's roll higher. Okay. All right. That's fair. Solid. Solid yeah. suggestion. <laughs> uh -huh. Take that into consideration. You don't want it to miss. Roll higher. Got it. Got okay. Gripley. Okay. Uh, my name is Ripple. <laughs> Gripley, yeah, Ripley. Ripple Ripley. It's like going around calling Believe you. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. That's hey, true. Hey, frog lady. Get a, Gripple. Get a, get a hop on. All right. Uh, so hop on <laughs> down to the plan for my turn. Do I think uh, that these butterflies could potentially cut through the rest of the stomach lining and just vomit? grout onto the ground potentially highly unlikely because they don't highly, do a lot of damage highly unlikely you know what good good chat okay so the second <laughs> question that i have is about um is about this ritual is there any reason aside from lowering the the lower dc is why i would want to use less actions to do the religion one right that's why you would want to use more actions Oh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. I was like, I wasn't speaking English. Uh, okay. But yes, yes, yes. That's the Enrico. only reason. And, All right. And so I want to just throw yeah. one more option from chat yeah, into yeah. your possible <laughs> pool of things okay. to do. You could get yeah. swallowed by the Tarask so that you can, you're no. inside and you can heal uh, Grout. I, I just. I love that. Uh, except that I will not be doing that because okay. I have to. <laughs> um, I would be remiss to not offer it to you. I, no, I love that except nah. No. <laughs> Loves the no, so ladies <laughs> raising themselves alone. Yeah, no, I don't think uh, that will happen today, but uh, rain check. Okay, okay. so I'm going to go ahead and roll this ritual for, we'll make it a two action ritual, ritual uh, and we'll see what happens. Cool. Oh! <gasps> N natural 20. Woo! Oh, that's a big Woo! one. Okay, so all together, that's 51. That's, that's two more points success. towards the ritual. Yeah. There we okay. go. Okay, and how, how many do we need? You have as six, many as we it, can. Yeah, you don't really know. You definitely okay. know. You, like, so I should just it, roll you can also again, be right, stopped and do... with this. Uh, I could... Oh, wait, no, I still I, need... Let's see, I need to... Can I heal for a hasted action, or does that have to be a part of my... No. Mm -mm. Hey, haste is striker or stride. So okay, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. Help. Cool, 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 cool. So I guess I should not try and do another one of these because I need to heal somebody, and that somebody is my boy Carillo. Uh, yeah. All right, let's heal you for uh, eighty-nine hit points, and give myself I'll take it. ten. Um. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, and that leaves me just How my, I believe, my hasted action, right? How much did you just say? So, I'm sorry. 89. Beautiful. It's not bad. It's You'll love the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, and, <laughs> and I will move five feet back, I guess. Again, <laughs> she said with hope in her heart. Um and oh wait no i would need to sustain you know what butterflies are gone because none of that would allow me to sustain them unless i just didn't move it's fine they're dead well He's you can't dead. sustain with a haste action yeah, anyway can't do it goodbye yeah. goodbye they're gone bye crap yeah well, well least, i uh... don't think i don't think 10 hit point protection would protect grout nope. from any experience <laughs> that grout. they're about to have Grout, you watch the butterflies disappear, and you know yeah. that your party has just left you to die. Yeah, they uh, just the like utter despair out. overwhelms him in his final moments. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but what a um, way to go! <laughs> yeah, That's true. In the belly 
of a it beast. It is pretty cool. Yeah. It's awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Tree Razor's turn. Tree Razor's been standing and banging because it really wanted to kill people. Uh, it's just mad. It's in... Though it is smart, it was in a destructive rage. And therefore, it stood beside this lava, which, again, comes up one more time. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy crap. Waffles, this looks gets amazing. Raised. Yeah, it's really cool. Thanks. Yeah, it would be really impressive if it wasn't going to kill us soon. But, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, I could be both. <laughs> could be I'm both. impressed by this part right here. Like, up here. What, the, up, yeah. the, the rocky place? Yeah, as it, like, gets into the water. Yeah, yeah. It, like, looks super realistic, like, right there. Incarnate's cool. Hey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. We gotta wrap up because there's another stream, so. Uh... Yep. Yeah, we're wrapping. So, we're ra that, that's on y'all to cast this thing, or we yeah. just won't know what happens. Feels bad. All right. <laughs> uh, the lava does, in fact, do 12d6 damage to both the Tarasque and the little tree razor. Uh, does does 12d6 because it's like it's cool lava, you know? It's water lava. What we call it? Yeah. Is that cool that we... lava? That's it. <laughs> That's what they call it. Oh, okay. Was oh, that actually a turn? Sure. Uh, no, it wasn't a whole turn. Hold on. Chill, chill. I'm subtracting. No, stuff. a term. Like, does it say like <laughs> oh. lava damage? That's a Jeez, thing. Yeah. Chill. No, no it so <laughs> I thought you said. I thought. I thought you said. Was that a turn? Its whole turn was getting lit on fire. <laughs> All right. Tree That's razor lit. is going to I'm, all right i'm gonna try to make this epic because this is how it played out in my head true is gonna attempt to fly off oh no shit. the tarasque is uh, going to take a bite opportunity attack i think i have a tax of opportunity probably i'm also on its back <laughs> yeah i was about to say you're moving with it it never like moves out of your square you know mm, interesting uh but tarasque hits Free grab? Does, yeah, it does grab? 40 piercing damage. Ooh. Hits with that. Tries to do the free grab. Crits. 68. Oh. Oh. Natural 20. Oh. Eats it. Grabs right its company. leg. And... Yeah, grabbing its leg, the tree razor is going to spin its next action. Trying to get out. Which it does. It does. Yeah. Yep. It breaks free for free on an action. Uh, because it has freedom of movement. But the grab did stop the first fly movement. Had to break free for a second action. Flies up into the air. How um? 60 feet. Guys, uh -oh. I'm flying. <laughs> it's, it finally happened. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I know what I'm grab. doing next. It's terrible. Um, real quick, is there like a range for this ritual? Uh, you get the sense it's probably very like quite far. Like obviously the obviously the tree razor can't be three miles away, but yeah, it's probably in the thousands of feet. Cool, 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 cool. All right, that's the tree razor's turn. The Tarasque cool. had also taken the lava damage. Can't do anything to anyone else, so it moves over here to the frog. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Come join me. Who's Hashtag. just been like gently walking backwards through the like thick, uh, <laughs> like water, like you, when you try to get onto the beach <laughs> after being, you're just like, eh. Um, I'm probably not five feet I'm from the terrace, so I can't take an attack of opportunity there, right? No, you're like 60 feet in the air. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it's going to start with a Jaws attack. Let's try to swallow the frog as well. No, please. Come on, You're it's a party. Come on, like, like. Does uh, 58 hit you? Oh my god. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I, uh, foresight, I don't know. It does. <laughs> yes, I'm, no, foresight. You can make him yeah. roll disavenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, no, I don't think that's how that works. Yes, it is. It says if the hostile creature I is rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the do again, again, please. <laughs> okay, sec second roll does a 51 
Yeah, oh, they both hit. God. Does it does it crit you? I think a fifty-one still crits you too. Yeah, I don't What's know. It, I'm scared. What's it's thirty-five. AC? It's thirty-five. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm just yep. a little so, frog. <laughs> plus 10 is a crit. The frog takes 82 piercing damage. Oh. And goodbye forever, my children. Uh, Soul survivor. It, it grabs you because I know that beats your fortitude DC. Yeah. And it reaction swallows you. Yeah. Oh, now you can enact plan B. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we'll wait for that. Hello, Ripple. <laughs> <laughs> You're just, yeah. It's probably more like blood. it's probably more like hello, Ripple, <laughs> because you're now taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, is, and is I'm not even gonna or... roll it. Yeah, is Ripple yeah, um, unconscious? Yeah, not yet, but okay. maybe after this. I'm I'm not gonna roll it, but grab you fall unconscious. Yeah, you're dying one. Okay. Ah. Speed run time. What about, okay, what it's, about your, it's your turn. Yeah, does Ripple oh. take it at the does this proc at the start of the turn or the end? No, it no Ripple took the like grab damage and shit. Oh, so okay. like I've been procking it at the end of the terrestrial turn. Yeah. I don't know if that's exactly true, but it doesn't proc until it comes by around. Okay. Alright. Uh <laughs> then seated on my nice comfy beach, I what what do I have to do for the ritual? It's just one action, like an Arcana check. Like, what do I need to do to make them go away? Yeah, it's going to be a three action Arcana check. That sucks. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have one hero point left. Let's do this. Okay. I mean, you don't have to roll, thankfully. Oh, I don't have to roll. It, okay. it just happens to activate the ritual. I am resisting. Okay. I Let me see if Foresight lets me make them do bad stuff. But, okay. I think it's just on an attack. Yeah, I think so. But uh, have them all right. Roll. Yes. It started at DC 35. You guys have what? How Six. many points? Six. All right, so that's DC 41. 41. It's missing 300 health, and the Ooh. tree razor is missing 400 health. That's nine, so it's DC 50. It's going to crush it. Yeah, it's going to annihilate it. Yeah. I am going to take off the hidden rolls here. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm scared. All right. You oh, could have... Tree Razor. Forward to saving throw. Could have what? No, I was thinking, like, if you waited till I went, I damage it a touch more. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just razor. wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, close. No. Natural 16. Oh. Tree razor. That wow. one we can kill oh. though. We're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tarask. Oh god, this is ridiculous yeah. fortitude. Oh, it meets it. Oh, oh I thought it was fifty-one it for some it. reason. Wait, it is. It wait. wait is it? What, what is the yeah, fifty-one? Thirty-five. Six, six, six points. Plus, so that's forty-one. And then they're missing a total of nine hundred damage. So fifty. Fifty. Damn. Do All the right. Titans do anything like being in there for this? That they yeah, do. That, that was, yeah. Oh, that's right. calculated? Okay. All right, speed run, speed run. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because okay. it, fa it fails, but the ritual circle is still there, and they just mm -hmm. resist it. Gorilla. Okay. You're 60 feet in the air on the back of a tree razor. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good. Uh, let's stab another pity in there. We can do it again, right? Like, okay. this is okay? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, now is that 47 47 does hit nice. yes it takes 36 damage gets a pity oh. in it okay uh i'm no longer flat footed it's not flat footed so can, i have just um there's a thing Crip i have so many things to make Crip them flat -footed. In there. no i'm on no. the tree razor oh um, right right yeah yeah hold on Duh. there's like so many things um Intimidation. I'm just gonna scream uh, before the attack, if that's okay. Uh, okay. To... All right, there's so many things. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? This isn't how we speed her. I'm sorry. Battle cry. <laughs> okay. Um, nope, that's what I rolled. 
freaking initiative. Um, whatever. Let me roll intimidation, and I get plus one circumstance bonus, and uh, no, plus two. What are you trying to do? Intimidate it so I can demoralize it, and then it's flat-footed to me because I have something that when they're demoralized, they're flat-footed to me. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Uh, you gotta give me that intimidation. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> Alright, 32 intimidation. Oh, uh, 34. <laughs> And that's, not gonna, Fine, that's not gonna whatever, beat its fortitude no, DC. No, or no will DC, sorry. So I do just. Uh, 20. You do 22 piercing damage. Okay, let's do it again. And I assume. Hold on. I assume you wanna break it off. Oh, yes, I forgot. Yes, please. Okay, break athletics it. check. Oh. Natural one. Goodness. Alright, well, you missed the break off. Can I break it off again? Alright, it's in there, though. It's in I, there. Uh, yeah, you have one more strike, and technically this is a I'm still break up. Like, hasted. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You have one more intimidation. Did intimidate. Never mind, never mind. Yeah. But you have one more strike. 44. So. 44. That breaks Good. it off. All right. Nice. Yes. So you yes. stab it and break it off. The tree razor now has its first piton in it. Sweet. I'm speed running. <laughs> speed All running. Right. Speed running. All, All right. right. Ripple. Triple. Okay. So. What would the DC be if it was a three action prayer? What would the DC oh, be? <laughs> I wasn't even ready for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would be oh, DC 36. Oh, I can do that. All I have and to do is roll a five or higher. And you're going to expend all the air you have and begin suffocating immediately. Yeah, but I wasn't going to make it anyways. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> This is, this is like it, right? Like if I'm I succeed, dead. if I succeed, this is it. Yeah, you knew that you knew it was close before you got swallowed, so. Yeah, yeah. Um so she is going to she's like looking at Grout's body as it's like disintegrating in the acid and she's starting to feel the acid lick up at her and the fumes are filling her mind and she just zones out uh and sees the calm tide pool full of tadpoles. And I'm going to roll this. In the back of her head, she whispers, eh, screw grout. <laughs> <laughs> screw grout. It's fine. I didn't even know him before um, this battle. And uh, she rolls a 17 plus 31. That's a critical success. Yeah. All right. Raises Let's the DC go. more. DC is now 52 for them. Okay. Tree Razor's turn. Woo -woo. Oh, wait. No, that's, that's it. Wait, you, no, so, okay, yeah, okay, great. Un unless you have a strike that you think will do more than 50 a damage. A strike? Um, sure. What? Just a, a eh. Just a little <laughs> eh out the front. <sighs> um, right. sure. I don't think this is going to do a bunch, but I guess I could do a divine lance from inside. That's not a strike. It's, it's a spell, a unfortunately. A spell? Okay, yeah, 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 I got nothing. I got nothing, guys. Okay. <laughs> Right. You hit it with your gripple hand. Yeah. All right. Tree Razor's turn. Tree Razor's going to continue to try to fly off. It is just flying really quickly. Uh, still not out of range yet. It's like 240 feet away. Easy. Terrest. Nope, not Terrest's turn. Uh, yes, Mystic Terrest. Route. No, oh, Mystic right. Route. Give me, give me that recovery check. For dying. Oh. Uh, what what are those again? Sorry, it has been a lot. That's uh, flat flat DC ten, unless you have a cool thing like die hard. And well, I'm about plus to die your, hard. I tell you that. <laughs> plus your dying condition. So right now it's DC eleven. Eleven. That's a fifteen. Oh. Ooh. So I'm alive and at full health. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say yes. <laughs> like I was half you listening to you, and I was almost about to say yes. Uh, no, but you're stabilized until you take damage on the terrestrial. Oh, um, sweet. Real quick. Oh, wo oh. Wounded one. <laughs> In my damage to the tree razor, it's still weak five to piercing from before, right? Okay. All right. And actually, not because you're weak five, but that does... Re your damage did reduce it under another hundred, oh, an cool. another hundred threshold. So the DC is fifty-three for both of them now. Okay. Right, Terrestrian. Uh, the Terrask is literally just thrashing around because that's what time says. And <laughs> you guys take 
belly damage. <laughs> I had this visual of it just jiggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just look damage. up. It's holding its belly, just going, oh, shaky, shaky, shaky. Ah! Kill him. Oh, that's beautiful. That's how it digests. If either of them die, let me know. Just make it count. Uh, I'm you sure. take eighty. You take eighty-two belly damage, Ripple. Cool. I'm out. Uh, you're and not I'm dead. at dying two now. I'm. I and yeah. Had... You fall to dying two. Oh, I fall to dying two. No, you're dying no, one. no, no. You you oh. fall to dying one, and then okay. Grout falls to dying two. Okay. Well, that's that's hardly my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I mean, you you raised DC, which is important. Yeah. As we might see here. Yeah. Lark, okay. first world sprite. What are you doing? Do it. Do it. Uh, I'm going to run away. No, ritual. <laughs> ritual. Flies can, away. Bye. Can you like attempt the check a couple times, then do the ritual? Or is that three action? No, no it's, it's a three, three action, action. ritual. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, wait, no, no. I don't do right. I don't roll. Yeah. God, you don't damn. roll anything. I have my rolls undone. Unhidden. Unhidden. Come on, game. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, no, that's, that's one. one. We did it. That's one. The no, we got The Tarask we got, fails. We did it. Okay. We can kill the other loser. Everyone's like holding their breath. Come on. I'm also holding my breath. Come on. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. That's a 44 on the tree right Raise there. Raise this. Oh. Holy, Holy crap. <laughs> okay. That's so oh. what, we, what we see for sake of having to end 15 early for Paizo. I'm sorry, Paizo. <laughs> Don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> what we see is Lark flies around this ritual circle, activating each point, places this gem inside it. Puts his hand down right on the edge of the ritual circle. You watch it shine in this brilliant blue gold light that just, it does the same kind of pulse that the tree razor has been doing with its green light and it pulses and you watch the Tarask and tree razor kind of you can tell they're resisting and they're trying to break out of it but they are slowly being forced into this ball of light and then they get sucked into this orb do we get vomited uh, out no you don't get vomited out but you just fall onto the sand right there oh thank god spirit. The ritual is not meant for you. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, the Tarask is just taken out from around you. What the tree razor left? is taken out from under. Or dead. Carilla. <laughs> and I am going to assume Carilla has enough crazy stuff to not fall in lava. <laughs> well, no, you yeah. were flying, you said. 240 yeah. feet away. So or, it's yep. not there anymore. I'm. I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll oh, yeah. dive to the ground and like. <laughs> Just, yeah. I just hold Fine. up the crystal. I'm the greatest wizard alive. <laughs> oh man, can we can we rewind time and, and fail? This is, Lark is gonna his ego is not gonna <laughs> let us live this down. I get my yeah. own tree palace. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we watch this though, and we see these bright lights shine over each of you. Uh, I was gonna give your characters an outro chance but we don't have the time for that. So basically what happens is we watch this slow motion of the energy roll over all of Galarian as it bursts through the sky, eviscerating the storm, pushes back the strong wind, scattering them, and it rolls over the cracks of all the lava in the world, sealing them into rocky enclosures, leaving the scars of the battle behind to remind people of what happened. As we glance back to the milky darkness in the sky, we see the entities we met at the beginning fading out of existence with smiles on their faces a few years pass clearly the you guys are heroic enough to have saved each other a few years pass as we check back on these amazing heroes the anniversary of when the Tarask and true razor were defeated and see literally galarian ride festivals being thrown in the honor of both the gods and you guys who are basically held at God of Reverie now. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Amazing. There's a giant tree on this beach, and I live in it. It's a great <laughs> town. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. And people come to ask you favors, and you're insufferable, and I love it. 
<laughs> are, wait, are we talking about Lark or me? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Carrie, yeah. of course. <laughs> okay. all, right. Um, all right, we we do have to wrap up and let uh, the lovely next team take on over. Um, that was an absolute blast. So first of all, I want to say huge, huge thank you to our players, and thank you so, so much for joining us. Uh, Waffles, birthday boy, thank you so much for GMing this really really Thank fun high level combat it was my was first so fun yeah it really was, was and awesome, it was my yeah. first like take at it and i think i think we did pretty well um so thank you. And then thank you, Paizo, for giving us this wonderful opportunity to have fun here mm. for Gen Con Online. Um, I hope everybody sticks around for the next group. If you liked what you saw from us, uh, we are Waffles Maple Syrup. You can search one word anywhere uh, or go to wafflesmaplesyrup.com and like find all our stuff. But we're on Twitter, at Waffles Maple, and we have a Twitch, so go follow us there. And we stream Starfinder on Tuesdays uh, at, 7, awesome. at 7 p.m. Central, 8 Eastern. Um, but we love you all very, very much. Uh, be kind to each other and yourselves. That's important.